Yeah, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show on this fine Whip Em Out Wednesday, by the way. It sucks here in New York today. It's kind of a rainy day, but uh, somewhere, nice the, somewhere. somewhere the sun is shining and girls are showing their boobs. <laughs> to get involved, all you have to do is get a WOW sticker on your car. The WOW stands for Whip Em Out Wednesday, and there are plenty of women out there. They see the WOW on the cars and the trucks, and they flash it. Simple as that. All we ask is that you don't uh, harass the ladies, okay? No. Oh. All right. Uh, we got Rich Voss in studio. He's playing Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia starting tomorrow night. Yep, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The Helium Club is a, it's a great club. We saw it for the first time about a month, month and a half ago. It's it's a great place to do comedy. That's why I waited to do a new CD there. It's just great. Oh, you're doing the new CD at Helium? Helium yeah, oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we got to say hi to Louis C.K. here. Nice to see you guys. Louis, Good back. Morning. Good morning. And Good Louis, morning. You're playing part of the comedy festival here in New York? No, well, yeah, I'm doing a couple of shows here. Uh, and then I'm in Vegas next week for the Vegas Comedy Festival. We're on in Vegas, so there you go. You I'm out there, there, too. Mm-hmm. Are you? What are you doing out there? Me and David Teller are doing a show on Thursday night, the oh, two okay. of us. And then uh, I'm doing uh, Comic Relief also. Oh, nice, man. Saturday. Jesus. Yeah. This is just traveling minstrels. <laughs> I know. You guys, you just right. wander the land, it's a- what we do. spreading laughter. I'm out there with our friend Saget. I'm doing Bob Saget show in Vegas and uh, with, with uh, Jeff Ross. Yeah, he's doing like a yeah. dir- dirty show, right? I know. I get stuck on a late night show. It starts oh. at 1 in the morning. I'm on last. I'll be on at 2.45. It's because you're foul. Oh, you're I don't know. Man. The language. That's all right. They're all sober by that point. I'm going to work totally clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do it tonight. All show corny, tonight. awful political jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Well, your comic relief is live, right? Isn't that live on HBO? Yeah. Yeah, that should be great. Ooh, yeah, it should be fun. And they haven't done that in years now. Like, I think it took a few years off. Yeah, took a few years off. They got yeah. to find a new cause. I think. Yeah, right? there weren't any more homeless people. They fixed it. Yeah, they, we fixed the <laughs> yeah. homeless problem it's with no the first more. one. Ah, they That's realize right. people in general don't care about the homeless. So <laughs> I, I earned that cake. I earned that. Cake. I earned that cake. Why do you step <laughs> on it? That's why they're homeless, because nobody cares about them. <laughs> and what's the, yeah, if anybody no cares, they put them in a house. The homeless don't even care. No, they don't. You know, why help someone that doesn't care? What was no, that catchphrase they had? Bad. What? They had, like, because uh, it, it's not a laughing matter. It was, uh, no, 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 it was, uh, here's some money, bum. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, like. There's always that line they have to cross, too. Like, you know, if you walk into a store. Yeah. They, they say, that nobody, either they say nothing or they welcome you into the store. Yep. But there's bums that they walk in. As soon as they walk in, they go, hey, get out of here. Like, get yeah. out. They don't let them in anywhere. Mm-hmm. There's got to be a thin line in there somewhere where you just reach the, you sleep outside two days in a row and they start telling you, all right, take a walk. You got you got to give them a little bit of time, though? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I don't know. Because I can still, like, I can go to a hotel and, like, use the bathroom and even ask to see a room and they'll let me in there and... The latest white credibility, you know. I can't. I can't. Uh, I, I feel guilty going into any place and using the bathroom uh, without buying anything. What? What? I do. Like, like I feel like I'm gonna get not not so much guilty. Wrong word. I feel like I'm gonna get thrown out. Okay. Before I make it to the bathroom, <laughs> like they take your poop and throw it out. Also. Yeah, get out of here. Take this with you, you bum. Like, it's a lot of places say no use of the bathroom unless you buy something, kind of thing. It's like I, you know, a place not a New- bum. A place in New York. I went to the bathroom. I go, "Where's your bathroom?" And they go, "It's a dollar." And I thought he was joking. And I came out. I had to pay the guy a dollar. I'd rather have that bathroom. though than oh yeah, I would, around. I here. would do that in a second. Yeah. What paid? I well, I, yeah. That's like they easy. throw you out, and you know how usually in the movies, then the hat comes afterwards, but the, your poop comes <laughs> flying up, <laughs> comes hits you in the head, and stay out. <laughs> hey, I got a homeless guy that sleeps outside my uh, my place. Yeah. He's a black guy. He uh, sets up a mattress. I don't know where the mattress goes during the day, but mm-hmm. every morning when uh, when Kenny – oh, that's not Kenny over there. Uh, Kenny picks me up. Homeless guy right outside my place on a mattress, and he wears uh, women's clothes. Oh, yeah? Black guy. Black guy, women's clothes, homeless outside my place every morning. Is he passable morning. or does it look like a guy? Oh, no. It's just ridiculous. I, I don't even – Jimmy's thinking, why do you have to <laughs> sexy it up? <laughs> yeah. it comes with his own mattress. I mean, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think it has anything to do with his uh, sexual orientation. It's just okay. clothes that he's found and said, what the hell? Might as well just wear these. These are warm. Screw yeah. it. Uh, that's the the feeling I get from this guy. So. What's the, what's the uh, cause? For um, comic relief, Katrina. I'm Katrina. Katri- oh, it's really not homeless people anymore. No, it's, it's, it's Katrina. It's Katrina. They're trying to do another Katrina. You still need a relief for that? I thought that was all fixed. No, they're giving the money to Houston. It is, but they just—it's <laughs> just a good. 
<laughs> it's a good cause. It's pro Katrina. It's like uh, it's oh, it's uh, it's for it. Yeah. yeah, it's for reflooding the city it's for doing another Katrina. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> they should throw the money to, to Houston fund for and... crime fighting. <laughs> yeah, they realize they need another flush. Yeah. <laughs> One more flush should do the job. Sledgehammers for the levees. <laughs> so, Louie, we're talking about, uh, you know, Brittany getting the divorce. We're talking about yeah. the elections. Yeah. We haven't talked about Doogie Howser coming out of the closet. Oh. Yeah. Is he gay? That was a yeah. rise. Yeah. Why did I ask that? When he said Doogie came out of the closet, what else could that mean? Quite well, literally. it's a new term in Hollywood. He, he's he been lanced. <laughs> what? That's what they're calling it. Yeah, well, they... <laughs> when you're forced to come out of uh, the closet, it's uh, you, you've been lanced. Yeah. That has a couple of meanings, though. Yeah. Yeah. Could mean well, being lanced. Like, I had something lanced once. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, hey, you get something poked into it, and it leaks. Yeah. <laughs> Fairly accurate. Yeah, exactly. So we got the doogie coming out of the closet, and uh, and and, that, and now we got this great story in front of us uh, from, what, Dublin? Wait, 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 wait. Doogie, quick question. How was he lanced? How was he forced out? People started saying he was gay, and uh, so he said, yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. Some people fight so. it. Yeah, like uh, Jim J. Bullock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It for he's still, years. He's and, still, still, still fighting it. That he's straight. And and Tom Cruise, of course. Still, well, Tom still Cruise, fighting. Yeah, he's he's putting up the good fight. He's doing ah, I mean, we don't know, you. obviously, but you know, come on, good something's luck. going on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what about this story in front of you, Anthony? Yeah, uh, doctor saw it in sex case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why not? Is this one of those guys who just couldn't take it? Where is this? Dublin. Dublin, Dublin Ireland. I don't know if it's Dublin, Ireland. Might Ireland. be. No, because yeah. uh, they're they're mentioning San Francisco and Oakland in this story. Dublin, Ohio. Oakland, bitch. Uh, well, I said San Francisco and Oakland. So why would you say Ohio? Oh <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Just blurting out in America. Well, Most yeah. people would assume if I said San Francisco and Oakland that there has to be a, a town called Dublin somewhere in that vicinity. It's in San Francisco Gate. Well, Rich has oh, heard right. of Dublin, Ohio, which is in America. Well, That's just, yeah. in his defense, it did yes. pop in my head, too. He's, I just wasn't stupid. He likes to, to show that he has some kind yeah. of knowledge. Yes. <laughs> you were smart enough to keep yeah. it to yourself. I'm only a little smarter than him. He, li- <laughs> he likes to show people that he has some kind of knowledge. It doesn't matter if it's p- yeah. if it's not part of what we're currently discussing. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just yell that pub in L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> He could get laid off of having said Dublin, Ohio. Somebody might think, wow, that mm. dude's really smart. I thought you were saying... Smart. Yeah, he's smart knowledgeable. See, this is why I thought you said Dublin, Ireland. Yeah. I thought you were saying Dublin, Oakland, or San Francisco. You know, you're naming the ta- cities where there's a Dublin, or... You know what I'm saying? All right, now I can't. Uh, right, now, right, now, right, now, right, see, even Louis. Now, now he's now. trying. <laughs> now he's <laughs> trying too hard. Oh, he's out. <laughs> Police searching for a Dublin doctor says uh, they say sexually battered two men at his home and took hundreds of photographs of 19 patients who were unconscious and undressed at his medical clinic. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Saucy. Tony Shu. He, he ran a, a private so, practice. Look at, so I guess out of his home? Is that what's Out of going his on home. Here? Well, uh, you could see this kind of a Dr. Tony Shu, some Asian gentleman. Um. So he ran a private practice. Wait till the patients, yeah, unconscious. Yeah, take their clothes off and photograph them. Or maybe they just uh, yeah. voluntarily. Maybe that was part of whatever well, procedure they were getting done. Allegedly yeah. drugged two men at his Dublin residence in August, and then raped one of them. Dublin uh, police sergeant uh, said, a search of his home turned up 450 photos of 19 male patients who were unconscious and semi-nude in uh, medical room examination uh, rooms. Sorry, medical examination rooms. The doctor came under suspicion after two alleged victims reported to police that Shu had drugged them as they visited his home. Uh, one of the men had known Shu for years. The other met him that night. How awful is that when your doctor rapes you? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to just be a horror. Who do you turn to? Well, got the rape kit right yeah, there. Yeah. You got to go back to him to stitch you up. <laughs> no, I went to get some dental work done, and they knocked me out, and I woke up with a sore throat, and I was really certain that some oh boy somebody did me in the in the mouth. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was sleeping. But I, the way I look at it is, if you have people come into your office and you're knocking them out, yeah. how do you not at least yeah. lick their face? <laughs> <laughs> how do you not give them the finger right to their face, lick their face? Something. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. We, we were talking about how doctors are just, they're just people. 
They're yeah. guys. They they get a little worked up. Mm -hmm. And if you're a dentist and this beautiful woman comes in yeah. and now she's completely knocked out, you're alone in there. We call it the perv switch. Yeah, the perv way. switch. Everyone just, has it. Everyone perv. has it. And it's some the people get turned on. It makes people yeah. per pervs. Opportunity does. You're just sitting there with your little pick going, I'm going to buy cuspid problem here. We just got yeah. to, I've got to see those cans. Yeah, exactly. I got <laughs> like, ah! You just lose your mind and then rip her shirt open. Yeah, but and you got to fondle. And you just yeah. you just lose everything. Yeah. Yeah, you start laughing at her boobs. and <laughs> yeah, She's uh, she's unconscious. Yes, we've got uh, the number eight uh, molar on the top of the machine. The, oh, gosh, i got to grab her crotch. <laughs> I just have click. She's of unconscious course. right in front of you. Of course, yeah, and then you just breathing it. heavy, and her boobs are just rising. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? they're heaving, yeah. and you're just trying to control yourself. I think that's how most men would use any superpower. You know, that's how we yeah. would use. Yeah, that's about as close to a superpower as you can get. Yes, it is. You are knockout man. Yep. <laughs> you can just—they come to you <laughs> with the total knowledge that you will knock them unconscious, yes. uh, and that's it. You just got to make sure you button the shirt right. You ever button your yeah. shirt and it's uneven at the bottom and you go, yeah. oh, what am I do? You got to make sure you don't do that to her. They always fumble and put a, They put both breasts back in the same bra holster. <laughs> yeah. They just fumble There's nervously. A screw ah, they got to put it back quickly before she wakes up. I woke up feeling like something had happened. I felt like dirtier in some way. And then I realized my bra was on where my panties belong and vice versa. I had tapioca in my oh, they, hair. They don't clean it when you're getting knocked out if you're woman, if you're getting knocked out by the dentist, you should write, you know, you pig on your boobs. <laughs> so that, or, or I have AIDS. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the world of AIDS. Like you can get AIDS from looking at a sleeping woman's boobs. <laughs> that would freak you out, though, if she had a message for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but you say, where do you draw the line? How about the guy that works, you know, at the funeral home who's in the room by himself all the time, you know? Well, that, that, that guy too. Those happen too. That, stories that happen guy too. too. How do you not? <laughs> how do you not? That, it, it depends on how fresh it is, I think. Yeah. yeah and how they died. <laughs> if, it's right. a burn, if it was a bad fire, you might want to let that one go. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Jimmy says might. You yeah, might well, yeah, might, but then again, know. it's... Yeah, then again, you know. A lot of no sex is curiosity, a lot of sexual urge. How many, yeah. uh, you know, boobs that have been on fire have you seen? Sure, but what would it be like to have sex Which with one? beef jerky? Yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> There's a, 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 oh, that's easy to find out. <laughs> a few guys uh, decided they uh, saw a woman's obit in the paper, mm -hmm. and she was attractive. They found her grave. Yeah. We're in the midst of digging up her grave. One guy wanted to have sex with this dead woman. Uh -huh. uh, so he gets two of his friends. Right. Who his weren't going to have friends. Yo, was, come have on. Her. Yeah. <laughs> come on. They were going to dig her up so he could take her home and have sex with her. Wow. And then, uh, based on the picture in the obituary. And then the host from Dateline walked out. What are you doing here? <laughs> are you going to have sex? Oh, I was just going to dig her up and hang out with her. Having sex with a corpse. Why would you want to do that? I mean, I'm a pervert. Why would you want to do well, that? Those are good friends. That, that that's you. Yeah. No kidding. That that's the worst. Go. All right, look, dude, I understand, sure. Yeah, I get you. You know, she is hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to join you. I understand she's your you. chick, dude. <laughs> You know, bros before dead hoes. Dude, it, it's I'll tough. do the digging and you can It's use tough to crunk. talk your friends into moving a couch when you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, how the hell do they talk exactly. these guys into, you know, I want to dig up a chick because I want to have sex with her. All right. All right? All right. Ugh. Like, sure. is there a point where you, you go, like... Are, are they going to go for this? Like, uh, yeah. you got to really know your friends. Yes. It's, it's, you had to have been through some other stuff. You don't just work definitely. yourself. You don't go right from, hey, you know, you want to go out, drink a few beers to you know, dig up this dead chick so I could have sex with her. And her friends go, is she having an orgasm or decomposing? How do you, oh, how do you, wow. break, how do you break that to your friends? Like, wow. do, you, do you say it as a joke? And, like, as you're and all you laughing. Going, but seriously, though. But then yeah, you look yeah. and you're not laughing. You're staring at <laughs> over your beer. Well, they must have with history. shovels. He, they must have history. Like, well, come on. Remember the time I helped you uh, drink that homeless guy's urine? You know? <laughs> yeah, there's got to be something in their history. Remember, all of them. I helped you wipe that yes. kid's blood off your bumper. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, remember? All right, all right. Dude, a hair, and you would have been caught on that bumper. Hey, and we uh, helped you clean the whole thing up. All right. At least Dude, the guy didn't want to have an orgy. You know how much digging that would have been that night? Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's go to Kelly and Syracuse. Boss. <laughs> Kelly. Hey, boys. How you doing? Pretty good, uh, Kelly. Hi. I had a friend that uh, when she was younger, she was molested by her older brother. And uh, when so she was going to a shrink in order to get help with that, and her shrink was her shrink was molesting her. Well, wait. <laughs> how old how wonderful. old was she that he was molested? Was she an adult or was she a kid? 
Um, she was when she was she was a teenager when the um, shrink was. He was hypnotizing her and then uh, and then molesting her. Well, her wow. brother didn't shrink. What was she wearing? I mean, you know. Sometimes they bring it on themselves by the way they carry themselves Kelly, and walk around. You're not going to find sympathy here. You realize how hot that sounds, right? I know. Well, again, why why be a shrink if you're not going to molest the vulnerable? Why you hypnotize a woman if you can't you know, convince her? To... Why yeah. hypnotize? That's the whole point of hypnotizing anyone is that they're a woman and you're going to touch their bodies with your penis. <laughs> That's the entire point of the exercise. So what what ended up happening there, Kelly? Um, I think they just ended up being a lawsuit, but I think I figured you guys would find that pretty hot that she actually th molested you. You throw away, the, throw away the coin and just swing a bag in front of her face. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting sleepy. <laughs> how did uh, how did he get caught? Um, he ended up he was molesting quite a few of his patients actually. Yeah. It, it turned out that he was molesting quite a few of his patients. But they were kids though, or like a, like nineteen year old, eighteen year old. She was uh, grown no, up. They, they were like. Uh, 13, 14. Oh, oh, oh well, now I right. recant everything. Uh, right. Unacceptable. All right, let's go to Matt. He's a dentist in Georgia. Matt, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. You know, I, I just have to, I'm on the way to work listening to you and just brought back memories for just a second of a uh, this past summer when it's really hot <laughs> outside. These, uh, I don't know, these these cheerleaders, they come in with these midriff T-shirts. Oh, my gosh. He's... These freaking uh, gym shorts, and mm. she's laying back in the chair. Yeah, and I lay her back, and you know how their I don't know their hip bones how high, when they're skinny as hell their, their pants kind of come up. Yeah, they kind of ride on top, and you can yeah. see right down there. Oh my god! And I'm laying there. <laughs> He's a dentist. And mom's in the room with me. Mm, and, uh, Good I mean, thing. She's 17 years old, and I'm Who, mom. Oh the, no no no! Oh. no. Mom is nowhere near. But you know how the deities ride up. Doesn't mom know though when she's got a hot daughter like that? Doesn't she look at you when the kids are sleeping? Yeah. And go, go ahead, man. I know. Uh, go ahead. She's sitting there daring me to, and I mean, I you know, and I'm I'm working. I'm uh. kind of halfway looking down, mm. and I look down, and her eyes are looking straight at me. Yeah. Mm. You're thinking of a whole different root canal. You know what dentist is up to something when they come in for a cavity and he pulls all her teeth? <laughs> Watch it out, guys. Wait, wait, dude, who was looking at you, the girl or the mother? Uh, the, well, no, the girl was looking at me. The mom was sitting in the corner of the room. I was, yeah. So you're taking uh, peeks as you do your, uh, your work there? <laughs> it's impossible. I mean, you're laying them back. They're laying essentially in your lap, and a yeah, lot no, of these ladies, they chair. come with low-cut blouses on. Yeah, but for, see, you said in the summer in their cheerleading outfits. They don't wear outfits, cheerleading outfits. That was your fantasy, right? Well, this guy's got a pervert switch that's very, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. very yeah. close to the surface. We all do, though. All right, He's thank you, Matt. You. Let's say hi to Dane Cook. Dane! Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Dane. have you ever been uh, molested? Uh, no, but those are some great stories. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> got to watch the dentist. We were talking about the perv uh, uh, switch. Everyone has one. You know, you get these stories in the paper where the dentist is uh, molesting the patients when they're under. My, my feeling on molestation is that, like, right around third or fourth grade, like, it should just be mandatory you're molested. And that way everybody will have dealt with it. Everybody's got a fair deal. We've all been diddled somewhere or another, and we can all say, you know what? I know the feeling. Let's just move on. We got it. Even fat kids? No. <laughs> fat kids should not be molested. Just they have to go to therapy and cry about how nobody touched <laughs> them. <laughs> One more humiliation. Well, you got to think that plate. You got to think there were people growing up that wish they were molested. And no one paid attention that to him. wish. <laughs> <laughs> no one paid attention to him. <laughs> I don't think there'd be a wish. Daddy, I'm going to take a shower now. Right, go ahead. Don't bug me. <laughs> Doing everything you can and uh, no attention's being paid. I can't get the water temperature right. Could you help me? <laughs> Ask your mother. Oh, oh, oh man. Damn. Oh. <laughs> when I was a kid, my grandmother goes, what makes you so funny? And I go, a small penis. And my grandfather goes, no, you don't have a small penis, but your brother does, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a left for Yeah, me. you got a little... I think that was a courtesy laugh from Dane. Ah, yeah. You know. ah, I'm no, selling, that's actually selling out the garden. <laughs> yeah, Dane, what's up, man? Selling out the garden. What are you doing? I know. I'm, I'm like thinking about adding a third show. Are you kidding? I'm, not, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Because um, you got a lot of people jealous uh, to begin with. Uh, the, the, the garden show sold out in a day, so you added a second day? Yeah, yeah. We added a second show. I think there. I don't know how many seats are left, but there's there's a few. 
And there's a few, like, there's like two or 3,000 seeds left. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's only the know, garden. It's, and, and pretty, I, it's pretty loony. And how many movies uh, are you in in the next month? Uh, I'm, I'm finishing my, this will be my fourth one in a row that I'm finishing now. Jesus Christ. I'm here in uh, Rhode Island with uh, Steve Carell. Jesus. And what's this uh, film about? Uh, it's called Dan in Real Life. Uh, me and Steve are brothers, and uh, we come home for a family reunion. He uh, He's a widower who falls in love with this girl that he meets at a bookstore, but he doesn't know she's my girlfriend. So when he finally comes home for the reunion, there's a little uh, love triangle going on because we're both trying to keep the girl uh, close to our hearts. Are, are you like uh, Are you like the uh, dick in this whole one? No, and, no, 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 and he's the nice guy, and he'll wind up getting the girl, even though the girl would run off with you first. No, we're both. It's, <laughs> that's the thing is, it's kind of like one of those things you don't you don't know who she should be with because we're both nice guy, nice guys who end up uh, kind of having to outdo one another. She goes to the dentist and gets molested. This is a hard this is a hard pitch. This sounds like a great movie right now, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this, is real, this is a real panel one, isn't it? This is a good one. This is the one that uh, you decided you were going to go for something a little different. There are puppets in this one. I'm no <laughs> puppets. Hey, what was puppets. the fl what was the Kevin Costner flick you did? Uh, Mr. Brooks. Yeah, that comes out I think in in March. That's like a um, I guess it's kind of like a Seven or a, or a Silence of the Lambs. He plays a serial killer uh, called the Thumbprint Killer. He only kills couples while they're doing it. And uh, I uh, play this guy who I'm like this deviant nobody who uh, takes pictures of him while he's doing it uh, and then I blackmail him into teaching me how to be a serial killer or I'll expose him so well, doesn't, he, doesn't he know you're taking pictures of him that would tip no. a serial killer off when the flash is going off while you're murdering <laughs> someone <laughs> no I catch I, he doesn't know that he left a curtain open in a, in a uh, hotel and I'm across the street I was taking pictures of the couple while they were doing it Ah. So, uh, okay. so he got he got caught because he screwed up. The darker side of Dane Cook now coming out in these movies. Mm, yes. I, I like this. See, you don't want to be typecast as the goofy guy in the movie. So I, now you're starting to take uh, take on these other roles. I think it's a smart move. I always Definitely. Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy should have played a rapist or something completely out of character, but Murphy would never do anything like that. I'm like, why doesn't he one time do something that is completely unexpected and he never did it? It's always the fun, happy... Yeah. yeah I'm you know. sure uh, Murphy wants to take career tips from you. That's uh... <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that I, I have a lot of movies, but I'm, I'm saying that Eddie Murphy none. did kind of... Yeah, that's, all right, let's wait a phrase. Let's a line. All right. You could, I, so, uh, I, tried to, I tried to sugarcoat it. You, you actually had a number prepared. Are you at some point. <laughs> so, Jimmy, are you at some point going to play a human being? <laughs> How are you going to diversify you Mix it up a little bit? I'm going to play a faithful guy who actually looks in the eyes of the person he's sleeping with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. Beverly Hills Cop was actually on the other night, yeah. and I never noticed, and I always loved Beverly Hills Cop, but you notice how many times Eddie does his Eddie laugh in Beverly Hills Cop? Oh, uh, yeah. It's Constant. insane. It's every other line. He's like, yeah, there you go. Every <laughs> other line. Yeah, two guys walking down the sidewalk. He had to turn around, look, and give the laugh. Like, there wasn't enough uh, laughs in the movie. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dane, what's it like being in a business when you don't have to try to get to the next level anymore? <laughs> Like when you're, you're not, huh? You know when there's no more struggle. What's it like? What, 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 what Rich is saying is, what's it finally like to make the jump from middle to headline? <laughs> <laughs> Rich, just ask. Don't be ashamed of yourself. Co-middle. <laughs> yeah. What's next for Dane Cook? Oh man, it's, you know that's the that's the weird thing. Once you once you know this last year, it's just been so fast, man. Everything for so many years was about scraping. You know, it was like, all right, what what do I got to do? What do I got to do? And then. To have all these things having having taken place, it's just kind of uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. You know? Here's what Dane's yeah. career is. You know what it is? Steve yeah. Martin. It's Steve Martin. You 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 shoot to this unbelievable uh, height of fame with your comedy, and then you go into acting, and then at some point you'll turn into a completely white-haired ass. Yeah, and you'll do Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah, and do Pink Panther movies. Yeah, if you see Steve Martin out there, do me a favor and just lop his head off for doing that, and just yell Peter Sellers as you're hacking through his his stupid neck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, nah, you got now he's got to be like nah, but the guy's great. <laughs> <laughs> like Dane doesn't want to say anything bad about anyone in Hollywood. You're a smart man, Dane. Oh, man. Don't burn those bridges.
Got a few no, bridge no, burners no. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Dane, you're playing the Garden on Sunday. Tickets through uh, Ticketmaster.com, right? Yes, yes. This Sunday night, two shows at the Garden. Two shows at the Garden. That's Very amazing. nice. All right, Dane. And there's rumors, though, that people are saying that Dane was going to stop by the Hammerstein Ballroom on Friday night and do a spot on my show. Oh, yeah? Oh, that'd be nice. That might have been good if I just said it without a bubble of a fruit bubble in my throat. <laughs> that was your no, big I'm opportunity kidding. to get a nice rumor started. No, he won't do that. I, I can't even start that because I'll, I'll, my, the rest of my tickets will sell immediately. It'll be all hot chicks who vomit when I walk out and they realize it's not true and they just leave. <laughs> I can't have that rumor started because they'll, they'll leave immediately when they realize that after Nathaniel, it's me. Well, you got Artie on the show. There's going to be hot chicks there for Artie. How many... Artie Fuqua, I don't know how he does it. All he does is, is have hot chicks. It's 12 disgusting. inches. That's how he does it, 12 inches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Artie's a legend. All right. You well, mean his penis? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why did I answer yeah? I actually answered yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How dope I am. Yes, sir. I don't think you're, I think you're selling yourself short, man. I think women dig you. And a boy, Lou. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> nice work, Lou. All nice right. Work, Lou. <laughs> Dane, thank you so much. Anytime, fellas. You know it. Oh yeah. And by the way, I, did you? I was talking to Bobby, and he was saying something about, um, uh, like, did you guys call my publicist, or was there like some kind of mishap? Uh -huh. I, I don't want. I don't want you guys because uh, Bobby was saying you guys were trying to get in touch with me. I, I was like, they can get me on MySpace before they can get me through a publicist. Oh really? No, I think we. Uh, Bobby is an ass. Yeah, Bobby's just. Bob's just a pontificating dope. He's probably like that. <laughs> They tried to call you, dude. <laughs> Bob is just so happy that you pick up the phone when he calls now because he's finished and he knows it. <laughs> Bob Kelly is done. He's, they got the varnish on him. Oh, he is absolutely finished. <laughs> oh, you, you know how annoyed I was having to hear Bob feel good about himself this year? Dad, the ticket count, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me like you're a famous guy, Bob. Oh. You, guys, you guys can't be happy for for anyone. I'm happy for no, people. I, 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 I can yeah. be happy for people. But you just don't want to be happy, happy when it comes to Bob Kelly? Uh, who, who am I happy, happy for? for? Yeah. yeah, right. Um, <laughs> happy for... Uh, exactly. Happy for? Why would I be happy for you, Voss? I'm happy for you. I'm sad for Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, that's what Bob... Would, but Bob this year was in, insufferable talking about his own ticket counts. Then he's on his second garden show, and if he's calling in to plug a gig... That's your second garden show. Stupid Bob complaining about comedy. I wanted to bite Bob's fat Donald Pleasant's face for about nine months now. Why did you give him a shot? I mean, Bobby's been struggling, and finally he had a good year. What's wrong with that? I, I, I stick up for Bobby. He had a, finally had a good year. And yeah, he's happy, I like he's Bob happy Kelly. for that. Why wouldn't you want to support Bobby? You know it's going to pass. He's down to 13 minutes, but he had a good year. <laughs> I support Bobby, and I think I think Bobby Would it be up to 13 minutes if you're going for the 15 oh, you minutes. Oh, you know, okay, thing? to be technical, you know the joke. Here's well, the you deal. ruined the joke though because you said yeah. down to 13 minutes. That means only two minutes of his 15 has been spent. Yeah, that That's terrible. right. We wow. have 13 more minutes of that jackass. Yeah. Dave, get out, Dave! <laughs> stupid hands opening. How did you tolerate him on a bus? <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Bob uh, Kelly's one of those guys where I really like him, and I'm talking. I'm like, hey, what a great guy! And then he says something unbelievably stupid, and I'm like, oh yeah, punch him directly in, in his face. <laughs> you don't know where on Bob's face you want to hit him. It's like the nose yeah. is obvious, but his eyes are punchable. I, his, his cheeks one, are punchable. When I first got to know him, I said, "Where are you from?" And he said, uh, "I I lived in Medford, Massachusetts. Actually, I lived in East and South Medford." Like, nobody cares if you came from two parts of some yeah, town that nobody ever heard of. Like, Medford's we're all supposed to go, wow, much. did you make all new friends? Did you see snow for the first time? <laughs> you know, your dad must have been in the Army. That's amazing if you <laughs> south and just say you're from Medford, you fat piece of garbage. <laughs> and I just met him, and I liked him. But I'm already swearing in his stupid face. <laughs> and the honest, the honest question would be, all right, well, why did the one step family reject you and send you to people they knew? Yeah, yeah. What had you done? Yeah, to go from... Uh, Southeast. Dane, you take him. Just yeah. please, no, no more helping Bob Kelly. That's my only request. I love, uh, I love Bobby because he goes from like calm to tirade. Yeah. In like three seconds about anything. He could get like the wrong flavor ice cream, and it's a six and a half hour dissertation, loud with spit. Dude, dude. But he'll eat it. <laughs> dude. I went rum raisin, dude. 
Here, here's how dumb. This is why I tell you Bob is stupid because we were, we had uh, we were talking one time about John Travolta and about him like having planes, and uh, I was, someone was saying that Travolta had planes like way years ago, mm-hmm. and Bob goes, Nah, dude, it's ever since this whole new thing after Pulp Fiction, and someone's like, No, 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 he had them before, and the guy goes, and Bob's like, Nah, dude, I'm telling you, it's brand new, and the guy's like, I just saw a special on Travolta, he had them, and then Bob's like, All right, dude. <laughs> it's like he's just a pontificating fool. He's a fool. That, I love Bob, and I've just realized that's what he is. He's a fool. Fool. <laughs> Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I'm, I'm pro Bob Kelly this month because he called me upset. Of, and Hold on. What, Voss? He called me upset the other day, and I'm, I'm pro Bob Kelly. I'm, I'm campaigning for Bob Kelly, and I hope his fame stays. Did you give him advice? Bigger. No, I can't give anybody advice. Right, good. Bob's fame, he should have Challenger written on his shirt. <laughs> All right, we've got to let Dane go. Oh, Dane's got interviews break. to do here. So, uh, Dane, Sunday at the Garden, second show, Ticketmaster.com. That's it. All right, thank you, Dane. Hey, Dane. Same, man. All right, guys. Dane Cook, everyone. we got to take a quick break. We're really late. we got Louis C.K. here, Rich Voss here. We'll continue. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony radio program here on 92.3. Hey, no. And also other places. <laughs> All right, good. Plenty of other places. places. Stuff. And uh, Rich Voss, Louis C.K. hanging out today. And uh, Louis just told me, so Louis shot an HBO special, man, to be shown in January, an hour. Wow. Which is, Ooh, uh, I'm cheers. very, very uh, happy for you, as slash jealous. So Louis shot an hour, and um, yeah, that's my first and we'll be on call early. Yep. A lot of jealousy. Nah, but I'm happy Jimmy. for Louis. I'm very happy for Louis. Of course. does I'm happy for. Well, I gave you a job. You so. certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about depressing. Pamela just called me. She got my sweater back. The, the, the rich sweater from Lucky Louie had been yeah, sold off. Right. They sell your assets immediately. It's like a divorce. Yeah, no, we had to get all our clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Pamela bought my sweater and got my sweater for myself. That's right. I can wear that like when, now when prostitutes come over. I can hope they recognize me. I can go, hey, what? because I'm nude in my Member. sweater. Memba. Memba. What, what, what do they do with it? They just sell it to, like, uh, people who will use it for whatever. Like like uh, homeless? Or, or no, other... So there's a company called It's a Wrap, and they yeah. just buy everything that a TV show, a, de- a dead TV show oh, had. It's a wrap. It's a yeah. Wrap, yeah. And then what do they do with it? They'd liquidate it. I don't know what they would have gotten for that sweater, you know. But do but they sell any iconic stuff? They would put yeah. it on eBay and stuff like that. That's what I was thinking. So yeah. they sell it to fans and stuff? Yeah. So I, got, I took all my work shirts and stuff. Yeah. I got to tell you guys, wherever I go, man, I was in Rochester mm-hmm. for a few days, and a mm-hmm. uh, lot of Lucky Louie fans up there. And people you would never expect, like, you know, proper women that don't yeah. have a dirty mind. And I'm like, That's what? the weird thing. It's mostly older people. Uh, uh, there's always older in New York. Every corner I'm waiting for a red light, some older Jewish woman puts her hand on my chest kind of sexually oh. and says, you are wonderful, like old Jewish ladies and old, <laughs> old black couples, well-dressed, come up to me. And uh, say that you know, they love the show, and then take my wallet and stuff. I yeah. didn't think that was the problem. You just <laughs> needed white sure. people. I didn't expect <laughs> a lot of no, white people. More white people the in show. America. <laughs> I didn't expect the soccer moms. I know. Yeah, I, I just it. didn't. You know, and, and, and well, that's you what know, I see a lot. They come up and go, "Oh, that show is so honest, mm-hmm. and the language it was real." And, well, when I started doing material about having a family on stage, I thought I was going to get booed for the stuff I was going to say because I, I I did it out of frustration. I didn't think it would be yeah that make me successful. I was going on stage and saying stuff like, "Now that I have a baby, I understand babies in the garbage." Like I don't, I wouldn't do it, <laughs> but for the first time, I get it. Like I totally visualize it. And it's true. Every parent actually, the, your head goes to like, okay, what would, who would know? Like, how many people have seen this baby? <laughs> and like, oh yeah, they got her footprint at the hospital. Ah, forget it. Now it's not gonna. <laughs> Could I explain it away? <laughs> They're gonna come around. Hey, what happened? What? We don't have a baby. What are you talking about? But so I would do jokes about that, and I thought I'd just get booed, and I was just doing it to, to for my own. And uh, soccer moms would come up to me after shows, sure, and say, "Thank you for doing." Thank you. I, I think, did kill my baby. I did throw. True. I threw my baby in the garbage. What? I didn't realize how funny it is that I did so. <laughs> Louis, what's the most frustrating thing about being a parent? Um, I think it's the spouse. I think if I was alone, I'd be fine. Alone with a kid? Yeah, seriously. I got two. And I and I can think, I sort of think in my head, because you you do the virtual reality, is, okay, my wife dies uh, and the kids are still around, you know, take get a nanny. I mean, I could do it. <laughs> wait, wait till your kid uh, turns 16 and stays out all night 
drinking and lies at 16. Oh, Pretty boy. Much enough, though. The only thing that would be better is if I dropped her off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All night long going from party to party. Is that what's happening with the hot Voss daughter? Yeah, no, I haven't had any. I, I haven't started. That's a whole new level where the kid, the person actually has a life that you have to worry about. Right. Uh, and to me, I have two girls, so I just don't want them to depend on guys. That's all. I really don't care if they're hookers as long as, I guess that is depending on guys. But Yeah. <laughs> In a big way. A hookers are not really independent of spirits. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, uh, no, the, the hard part is uh, uh, when you're when they're babies, it's that you don't sleep and you really get on edge and you want to kill people. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but I don't. I, there's endless reservoir of energy for the kids. I mean, they're 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 crappy people. They don't care about you. It's a one way relationship. They're mean spirited. They smell bad too. A lot of the time, like my daughter won't bathe. Cause, and we have a baby, so we can't force her anymore. Like, we just go, fine, just sleep in your clothes. Nobody cares anymore. But she starts to stink. Like, she's got this little girl vagina smell that is kind of oh really, my it's really God. hard to take. It's really hard. It's disgusting. Do you have an Arab kid? What's that? <laughs> well, if any kid, you don't wash them. They stink. The reality of the, the reality is there's not much joy, right, when they're young. Well, it, but there is. There's enough that it does makes all that worse. It, it doesn't bother me. Uh -huh. Like she's she'll be really rude to me, and I just I'm I, I think it's funny, and I'm proud of her. I want her to be rude and uh, self-expressive. I want her to take from people and uh, crap on them. And abuse them, because that's how you get ahead in the world. I can, I can never understand when I see uh, a father with especially daughter, mm -hmm. young young daughters uh, in a store or anywhere, and they go into that baby talk thing, yeah. and it's like, Jesus Christ, this is a grown man yeah. who is now, you know, he was probably into, you know, he was under the hood of his car turning a wrench at some point with yeah. his buddies drinking beers, and now he's... Gooby baby talk. No, no, baby. No, well, I always, darling, we can't do that. No, yeah. no. And and you just look and go, what happened to you? Yeah. No, I don't talk to my daughters that way. No? They, they, no. I just talk to them like, because that's stupid. It's retarded. It really is. Your kid it talks like a baby because your kid is stupid <laughs> and your kid doesn't know how to make real words yet. Your kid <laughs> sucks at talking. So you're going to teach them by talking like them? Yeah. How yeah. dumb is that? Like parents that take their kids' words, do you want Mickey, Milky, Mickey, Mickey? Say milk. So the kid learns how to say milk. So they can get a job. There was, there was, Don't <laughs> retard their verbal there, development by the, talking like them. The only a, people oh. you should use baby talk on are the elderly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Just to humiliate exactly. them. <laughs> well, there was a little kid in my neighborhood, a little black kid, and his uncle, you remember Froggy from Crazy's Cat to talk like, wah, 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 like that? No. The, the uh, uncle. No, you remember right. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait hold on. No. You're, you're not just. Was that a talkie? <laughs> Did you just make up that cartoon? <laughs> no, Courageous Cat. You remember Courageous Cat? No. I'm going to tell you a good story. I don't remember Froggy. You, you, you watched cartoons when they were in black and white, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Steamboat <laughs> Willie. Jesus. You know, was that on a, flip, on a flip card thing? Like those. No. Yeah. That was a flip book? He put a penny in the Nickelodeon thing and cranked it. Turned his cap on backwards. I go to Coney Island. How old are you? What, are you serious? You don't know Courageous Cat in minutes. I now. remember the name, yes. Yeah, I, I remember. Oh, I don't remember ever watching it. But not oh. Froggy, Rich. He was one of the characters. He was one of the criminals. And, and how did he sound? He went, ah, see, man. Ah, see, like, you know. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Muggsy. Yeah, actually. That was the <laughs> oh my God! You know, if I close my eyes, wow. yeah, yeah he'd have uh, a, Froggy, Froggy, he'd have a cigar in his mouth, a little cigar. Ah, yeah, I think Pixar man. is doing a Froggy movie. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's such a popular yeah. character. Why am I being attacked from a show I watch? I I'll tell you why you're being attacked. Tell Louis what that event in New Orleans is. Mardi Gras. How do you spell it? M a r d i gras. Mardi Gras. You find. All right, look, yeah, you he looked, looked it up. You looked the word up during the break. He looked it up. What did I say he, before? Madi, he said Mardi Gras and Madri Gras. No. And he spelled it M-A-D-R-I. Oh, yeah. you're out of your mind. I said M-A-R-D-I. No, you didn't. Oh, you my. You don't think no, you tape this show tape. every day? Yeah, I know yeah, you do. It's on tape, my friend. It's on tape. How much you want to bet? Why I said I'll take bets right now. How much you want to bet? You spelled it M-A-D-R-I. I'll bet you I got 100 right now. I can't gamble because I quit gambling. Oh, that's right. M-A-R-D-I. Oh, you're lucky. Come on. That is the easiest money I would 
you know, drugs, it's gambling. You can stop in a second. No, I can't. Come on. <laughs> you said Mardi Gras, and we asked you, and you said Mardi Gras. Madri. Well, imagine if that's how you tumbled back down because of that bet. <laughs> just one bet. <laughs> yeah, just said, back to smoking I crack. Just, I was sure I said Marty, and I lost the bet, and I had to go make up for it at the OTB. <laughs> and uh, like, Bonnie left me three months later. It would take a week for Voss to be on his knees pleasuring someone for a vial. <laughs> did, did, did I don't know because of a word he misspelled. Because he misspelled a word. <laughs> uh, people are saying here, it's uh, it's the frog, you tool. Froggy was from our gang. Well, frog or froggy, whatever. If you talk <laughs> to him in frog, you tool. Well, if you talk different. to him in past tense, it was froggy. All right, so let's get to your story. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. This is how old this cartoon so was. The character was just called The Frog. <laughs> right. The first frog ever on a cartoon. It wasn't Kermit the Frog or Froggy. No. Just the frog. 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 And people were fascinated yeah. by a it back then. A frog who speaks. It's a frog. How do they do it? <laughs> All right, so what happened with the frog? What happened? We're talking about kids and how you talk, baby talk. Mm -hmm. and it's not a good... The kid, the, the uncle. As the Doughboys were headed to Europe, Froggy <laughs> makes the movie screen. <laughs> yeah, <I> see. <laughs> the uncle would talk to the kid in that voice, the little kid. <laughs> and the kid grew up, he would talk regular and then break into that voice. Like Froggy. Yeah, but not know it. So that's how he really talked. He would go from talking like a real person into Jesus frog. God please let this story have an ending <laughs> please I'm praying please God let it see have some kind of ending see pray just cat hop and then this kid grew up and he bought a club in Philly called Helium no I don't know <laughs> You tased Rich. I sure did. That frog story. It could be the. I, I've heard Al Zorkawi stories that had funnier endings than that. <laughs> Why don't you hop on out of no, here no, because no. we're done with you today. That's First right. of all, let me explain something. Every story doesn't have to have a punchline when you're talking about kids and you're I telling punchline. I'm not saying it should have a punchline. Punch I, got, I, got, well, I got a little water in my mouth on that one. Okay, let's come after me. Take your lily pad and get the hell out of here. Guess. We're done with you. I'm not saying it should have a punchline. I don't mean that. Okay. I just meant it was just kind of meandering. And it went from like, yeah. eh, into boof. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go play Frogger in traffic? <laughs> How many frog jokes can we get out? Uh, plenty. I don't know. I'm <laughs> Voss, <laughs> see? Hey, Kenny, Rich is hungry. Get him some flies. <laughs> frog, <laughs> frog. <laughs> All right. That's a terrific story. Thank you. Frog was a queer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Rich. He has an apology for uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Rich Voss. <laughs> uh, Rich in New Hampshire. apology for everybody. He's an apology for XM uh, yeah. Canada and oh, go ahead, Rich. Outside a toilet store with a mouthful of polywogs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, horrible. There you go. Meandering mess. There you go. <laughs> you never disappoint, Rich. Thank you. <laughs> Love, Rich. <laughs> you never disappoint. <laughs> mouthful of polywogs. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh, his stomach! Oh, oh boy. that was a gem. <laughs> yeah, right. Should we go to New Hampshire? Yeah, let's talk right. to Rich. It's, it's Rich. Rich. Oh. Yeah, hey. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, I just want to apologize to Louis there. Yeah, what for? Um, oh, I fell asleep at one of his comedy shows up in Massachusetts at the Kowloon, and uh, my wife was telling me that uh, he kept on looking over at me, and well. Mm. I'm really right. bad about it now. All right, hold on, Rich. I gotta, I gotta stick up for Louis here. It, it, he didn't fall asleep because you were having a bad set. Oh well, no, he passed no, out. No. He drank too much. He drank too. <laughs> passed out at your show. Yeah, no. I just want to apologize him for falling asleep at his show. Nothing that he did. I mean, I, yeah. I enjoy his comedy. He's a great dude. Comedy. Dude, what we're saying is it's not falling asleep. Yeah. Up there it is. <laughs> Up in New England, like it is. I just fell asleep. Fell asleep. It's called passing out from alcohol. So there's a difference. It's not no, falling asleep. No comic wants to hear that you fell asleep at his show. <laughs> Guy makes it don't... sound like he took both of his hands, put them together yeah. like he's praying, yeah. and put his cheek on <laughs> him at the table. They don't mind hearing that you passed out at one of their shows. But... <laughs> <laughs> that guy was drooling on his chicken wings. <laughs> Uh, he fell asleep, asleep like Alex in Clockwork Orange and the spaghetti. <laughs> that was how he fell asleep. Yeah. yeah. I tried the wine. All right. Uh, no, you don't have to apologize for something I was completely unaware of. 
Oh, okay. thank you. Well, hey, no, I, I think that I do. Anyways, that's just me. All right, thank no, you, Rich. Thank you very I, much for coming to see me at the Kowloon. I got to cut you short because this is the hundred dollars I would have won. In the Mardi Gras, you know how they had the heads on the stick. In the, big, in the big what? Head. In the Mardi Gras, the heads on the stick. And how do you spell Mardi Gras? M A D R I. <laughs> Madri oh, Gras? <laughs> Mother Gras? Yeah, How do you spell it? M-A-D-R-I. M-A-D-R-I. Mardi Gras. Oh, yeah, sure. M A D R I. Mardi Gras. Wow. Mardi Gras. You're grass. not a real person. <laughs> You're not a real person. You're not a real person. <laughs> there you go, from earlier. There you go, Rich. Okay, here's the deal. There it was go. early, and I wasn't really awake. The How case early is, is rested. How early is it that you, you spell Mardi Gras M A D R I? I made a mistake, okay? What's the big deal? <laughs> well, wow. Only that you said you didn't. Right. That That's was all. it. That's if all. you said, yeah, I made the mistake, I'm but sure then I you didn't. you totally went, I did not say it like that. Pull the tape. Yeah, they could tamper with tapes, too. You <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Somebody was back there cutting. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. Whatever. Rich. Jesus. <laughs> Man, it was the frog. All right. <laughs> frog got to my Ollie tapes. Logs. <laughs> Rich is great on a stage. <laughs> Helium Comedy Club. He's hilarious. <laughs> Thursday is very funny apart. comedian. Starting Thursday, Helium Comedy Club in Philly. Rich Voss, Louis C.K. Vegas, on uh, Dave nice. Attell. November 16th, right? That's right, November 16th. And the 17th in Vegas. Yes. All right. And me at the Comedy Hammerstein. Festival. And, and, and Hammerstein. Norman at that. I'm going to that show, Jimmy. Are you coming? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. It's uh, here with the Opie and Anthony radio program. It, uh, we got some time left and stuff for on XM and, and also CBS and Citadel with Louis C.K. and Rich uh, Voss and me and Open Ant. Uh, that was yeah. terrific, Jimmy. Yeah, I, 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 got I think there's a couple stuff. more that don't belong to either. What a problem. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm developing a cough now. This is great. My oh. girlfriend's sick and now I'm getting sick. Oh, boy. Uh, see what happens. <laughs> well, I think I infected I mean, I mean, we both have sore throats. Oh, <laughs> oh by the way. That's how it starts. <laughs> by the way, age-free. Oh, you took the test Oh, you took again? your test? No, no, I'm you giving get, it out. Giving out AIDS for free? <laughs> AIDS free. free. It's free AIDS, then. No, I got ah, it. yeah, you got to say it right. I got, I got my test and I was, I was good. And Wait. I, you took it again? Aren't you so nervous when you take that thing? Yes. You don't get AIDS from the test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't take that test. Yeah. Can we send a card? Um, they got a card for that somewhere? Let me. Well, let I'm going to try to find a card. For Congrats. That. Yeah, whatever like your Hallmark next card. Yeah, Happy Hallmark birthday. card. Yeah, you made it. Congratulations. Wait, let me see. Can I, I, I think you get my gonorrhea sorry. results. That's all right. I think I get my gonorrhea and syphilis. Oh, uh, that's where you're going to have a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, those are a lot more. Uh, you're going to have um, one of those. You'll you have something. Spectra. Yeah, but you can see that stuff in your underwear. You can't see AIDS in your underwear. Oh. You know what I mean? Jesus. Really? Uh, you guys are I'm true. I know because I... All right. You know how you've got Save that fine, you've got a fine-tuned nose, like you can smell underwear. A little gonorrhea, tiny, yeah, chlamydia. Um, it's just a under hint. the bouquet of. <laughs> He's like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> you wear a landed comp and have syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get this kid thing in before we get out of here. Yes, so. please. Uh, really fast though, we're in the December issue of FHM. Aunt and I and Jimmy, of course, and then Voss is in there. With, Otto, uh, Patrice, Patrice. And, uh, Bill Burr. Otto and George, Patrice. Yeah, Bill Burr and Bob Kelly. Is that it? That's the lineup. And uh, E-Rock took a bunch of photos behind the scenes. Yes, And now did. we officially could get those up on our website, opianthony.com, so you can check out all the photos from the photo shoot that uh, E-Rock was taking uh, as the professional photographers. Or, uh, photographers we've done 1,000 pictures of Opie and everyone yeah. else. They catch me and Ant in the background. Yeah. When all you're right. done masturbating to FHM, you can read <laughs> about the show. Nice. Some the photos are pretty cool because it's all behind the scenes stuff. All right, uh, this is this could be terrific. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Grandma buys grandson scary children songs. This uh, story starts out pretty normal, but they're not supposed to be scary. But wait for the punchline because it's it's well worth it. We got a call from an irate grandmother who was so upset over an innocent gift she bought her grandson, she never thought it would affect him so badly. You may even own one yourself and not realize what it is. What? Old grandma? <laughs> Debbie Jurgensen is a wonderful grandmother, but she's feeling awfully guilty these days because of a gift she gave her grandson. To think that I gave this to him 
thinking it was going to soothe him to sleep, and then to find out that he went through four days of pure horror. Happy ending. And was hysterical <laughs> crying every time he went in his happy little room, and it was my doing. Believe it or not, the gift Debbie bought was this stack of children's CDs called 101 Toddler Tunes. We started playing the CDs and putting them on at night for the little guy, and he wasn't sleeping too well. And then my husband thought it might be the music, and I thought he was crazy. Until one afternoon, I put it on to play with him in his room, and there was a Ladybug song. This is just one of the songs little Michael had been forced to listen to while oh, he Michael. tried to fall asleep. Got to fall asleep just by himself. Yeah. With the little <laughs> stars on the ceiling. And, and you know, he's like scared of certain things in his room, little shadows. Maybe mm -hmm. the chair looks like a monster when the lights are you, out. She, I thought he was crazy. Your father's getting no credibility. It's like yeah. there's, we just started playing some music. Maybe it's the music. What are you, crazy? What are you, crazy? <laughs> are you crazy? Yes. Stupid idiot. Go Everything home and earn has been in that room. Go to work and earn money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, something new was introduced. Yeah, the, go put a music. roof over our heads, you useless piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you picked that right up, too, man. Oh, yeah, that's what my radar is just, yeah, shut up, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mothers know everything except for nothing. Let's, shut up. Yeah, let's look at it logically. What have we introduced to yeah. this child? Uh, since he has had a problem sleeping. Yeah. The music. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Oh, it's not the music that I haven't listened to yet. <laughs> 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 that I let him a stack of CDs. I haven't even listened to one of them because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the song. All right. While he tried to fall asleep. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children. <laughs> will burn. They will burn. Why go home then? Yeah, there's no, yeah. no hope it. in this song. Just go no. get a drink. <laughs> Give the kid a little hope. Just take that money you're going to save from the following Christmas and buy yourself something nice. <laughs> <laughs> will burn. Ladybug, ladybug, I can't believe this is what they say. Over and over again, too. How great is that? Children will burn. <laughs> I love that, that they're trying to tell the ladybug to get home to save it, but they're singing it so sweetly. Yeah, it's such a nice, you know. we'll burn, <laughs> da, da, da da Your baby's being raped. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you better hurry home. Who, who knew this was going on, man? The kids are all going to look like raisins with wigs. <laughs> oh, God. Nothing worse than a burn victim wig. Because it's always this perfect, and it never fits the head properly. It's slightly askew. It always looks like a hat. Because there's that space between the wig and the awful head. It just There's no way to fix it. There's that nothing to integrate face. it with. That's yeah. right. Yeah, there's no hairline. There's yeah, no hairline at all. It's just like yeah. a stormtrooper hat. Let's go to Rudy in Westchester. Rudy! Hey, what's up, guys? How hey. are you? Hey. Um, I, I, I was watching that story on the news, and they showed a picture of the kid. The kid was absolute oblivious. He was in, in La La Land with this stupid look on his face, and he didn't know what the hell was going on. And the grandmother was going on about happy, 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 and horror, horror, horror. And it just seems so weird that this kid even had a clue as to what was going on with these songs. And it just, like, blew my mind because I didn't, I didn't believe it at all. But it did run me into a state of paranoia and have to go, you know, listen to my kids' toddlers' songs as well now. Yeah, nobody pays attention to what their kids are watching or listening or doing or playing yeah. on the yeah. computer or anything. Or no. yeah, doesn't matter. I was in a bookstore, kids' bookstore, buying some books for my daughter, and there was uh, this older woman came in and said uh, to everybody, it's just it's a cheerful kids' bookstore in Hollywood. And then this lady comes in and asks the sales lady, I need a book for a four-year-old boy whose father died. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, they have, a, they have that section. They have a section a for your that. dad just died, you wow. idiot. I got mommy's Ooh. roommate. How about <laughs> 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 mullet lesbian moves in. You're moving into a small apartment <laughs> with a parade mom. of uncle <laughs> losers. Yeah. How about daddy had his brake lines cut yes. and mommy has a new check? <laughs> <laughs> How about read the insurance policy? <laughs> yeah. We got to go into these bookstores now and get some of these titles. Mm. All right, there's more to the story. The children will burn. That's nice. I was really disturbed because my father is a retired fireman uh, who recently actually just lost a close friend. So she's right, starting to grasp the concept yeah, of, Jesus. you know, death. Is he a ladybug I idiot? My father's <laughs> friend was recently uh, swatted by a giant hand and killed <laughs> 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 uh, 
who cares so if ladybugs die? So she's starting to grasp the concept <laughs> of, you know, death. I mm. felt horrified I... because these babies are very precious to me. And there were more tunes, like the little brown jug. Uh-oh. Oh, oh jug. Little old Jack and all our own. She loved gin and I loved rum. Boy, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, this is a toddler song. It's about I mean, moose. This is a toddler song? Come on. And this one, Casey at bat. Kill him, kill the umpire, shall we? I mean, kill him, kill the umpire. I mean, that's not what made you a bad say call. To children. Yeah. In fact, yeah, yeah, obviously, you never had any money on it. Listen, <laughs> listen to the CDs first, you idiot. Yeah. And what, what's wrong with that, the children? It's not like, it's not like you're saying molest the, the umpire. No. Or yeah. offer the umpire money to get in your van. <laughs> kill him, you kill him. Kids. You know, it would have been funny during the whole interview where Ladybug lands in her hand and. Or <laughs> <laughs> an umpire walks in and she just yells at him. <laughs> kill him. <laughs> kill him. Maybe this kid's not sleeping well because his family's. Sucks. Whole, yeah. He's a bunch of adults. And bunch he's up of night idiots. Going, How am I going to be raised by these jack offs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have any I'm kind of a doomed. Life. They're blaming the music and they're like, we, we didn't know if it was the music because I would drink a lot and my husband would hit me and we would scream and yell and we'd wake up and we didn't know it was the songs. <laughs> hey, the kid should be happy as his own CD player at that yeah. age. Yeah, no True. kidding. Jesus. Now, one of the things you should know is that these nursery rhymes aren't exactly new. Some of them are classics, and they've been around for more than 100 years. In most cases, they were a history lesson, like when the ladybugs infested the fields of England. Hence the song, Ladybug, Ladybug, Fly Away Home. So the big question now is, are the words in these rhymes appropriate for today's generation of kids and parents? Ew. Oh, God. Ew. That's the big question. We gotta yeah. attack everything. The big question is why does America stink? Yeah, that would be the bigger question. <laughs> I'm so tired of stuff like that. No kidding. Nicole how, in New York. How about London Bridge is falling down, but yeah. at least they're not jumping off it like they are the Golden Gate. Huh? That's the updated version for today's kids. Run with that. Go ahead, production staff, go. And do it. My daughter, my, you know, kids are supposed to not, my, my daughter and I were eating lamb chops one day, and she said, she's three years old at the time, and she said, uh, what, are, what, are, what are we eating? And I said, lamb chops. And she'd been to a farm recently and oh, petted boy. a lamb. So she said, is, are there la little lambs inside of this? And I said, no. Like, I, she, I'd never made the connection with her that she eats animals. What a yeah. stupid question. Yeah, I know. Yeah, little lambs in some Of course there aren't. Yeah. You I go, dope. <laughs> so I go, no. And she says, well, are yes. these pieces of a lamb? Ah, now she's catching up. And I on. go, uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Just told her, yes. So we're eating a lamb like the one I petted? And I said, yeah. And she says, I like lamb chops. Oh. She's like Hannibal Lecter. No, she likes eating that. animals. There you go. She likes eating animals. She's full aware that she, you know. Top of the food chain. She loves ducks, and she loves eating ducks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Did the yes. lamb make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? <laughs> <laughs> no. He was, he was a lamb. good lamb. <laughs> hey, let's go to Nicole. She's got something pretty good. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> yeah, I took my three-year-old brother to the library, and the librarian pointed me over to this uh, section. I guess he thought I was like some unwed teenage mother. So there's like, why you had sex when you were 10. And there's a book about Uncle Willie's Pickles and how to deal with molestation and why is daddy in a casket. All right, wait a minute. And they have wait, why hold, on, is, hold on, hold on. Why is daddy I have an assignment. <laughs> yes. I have to read Uncle Willie's Pickles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, could someone go out and get Uncle Willie's uh, Pickles and get it over to XM for why the second is, half of the show today? Why is daddy in a casket sounds awesome. Okay, maybe daddy yeah. is daddy in maybe a daddy's casket. a bad driver. Or maybe in Daddy middle... Metal... Oh, go ahead, oh Nicole. Nicole, because this is going to be much uh, more exciting here. Go, go ahead, ahead, Nicole. Go ahead, go. Nicole. This whole section is, like, in the middle of the children's playroom, like, pictures of really <laughs> tickling kids, like, awful, awful books. You yeah. know, I want you to have a sandwich just full of Uncle Willie's pickles. What <laughs> the thing that bothers me is that people want to want to protect their kids from reality, but then they want to sell them stuff. Like, that's yeah. what's acceptable yeah. is, like, Fox Kids where they're selling them toys and, and, and cereal with loud noise and MSG and sugar. Like, nobody cares about that. Yeah. That's fine. But don't mention to them that things do die and that it's okay that things die, especially if it's your stupid father. Well, the daddy in the casket thing does seem a little morbid. Like, how could that possibly play out? Well, maybe, maybe yeah. this, Why is daddy in the casket? Well, uh, he's going to be in it till uh, bugs eat his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daddy borrowed money from a man, and daddy couldn't pay him back. <laughs> daddy, <laughs> a lesson. Maybe uh, maybe Daddy mingled with someone of a race that he shouldn't have. Here, here. 
<laughs> For the Brady kids, why is Daddy in such a little casket? <laughs> why is Daddy face down in a casket with a permanent arch in his hips? <laughs> well, you know, that man, he played on TV. <laughs> why is Daddy in a closed casket? Well, because his face is pulp. <laughs> God. Because we couldn't reconstruct his... <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Lady. I wouldn't play that. Do you think there's room in our society for these old time classics? No, I don't society. think so. The kids today are smart and they can pick up on things like that. Well, you know what? A hundred years, one complaint. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. That's, That's true. a good track record. That's true. Good point, Rich. Good point. And Helium we, Comedy Club all weekend for Rich yeah. Voss. And it could tie in. Actually, we we'll have to just change the update. How about immigrants? Immigrants fly away home. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Give me those ribs, you. Well, let's see what a child psychologist has to say about oh, this good. issue. Oh, good. There's nothing inherently wrong unless you want to do away with Snow White, Hansel and Gretel. But child psychologist Dr. Victoria Beach doesn't understand what all the fuss is about. After all, she says, children have been listening to these nursery rhymes for more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. Casey at the Bat was in 1888, and it was published in the newspaper. Very famous poem. Um... Way over the head of toddlers. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Quite frankly, if you don't want your children to hear kill the umpire, you should never let them watch a baseball game. And her advice to parents is simple. Children will repeat what they hear. So if you don't want them repeating it, don't play it. <laughs> so for mom and dad, you heard the doc. The bottom line is pretty clear. Just use your discretion when it comes to your kids yeah. if you don't like what you hear. Yeah, just let them listen to soulless yeah. Barney and Elmo. Yeah, that'll do it. Teach them nothing about anything and... Or, or the milk chase, toast. Don't chase them across the street and crown heights with them. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is wrong with him? <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're going to find that book for Jimmy? Oh, my God. Uncle Willie's Pickles. It's all yeah, I where's want. I'm that? obsessed with them. we got to find that. Uncle Willie's pickles, pickles does he have? I know, exactly. He's got a bunch of pickles. Well, we, we guess Uncle Willie had a lot of friends who also had pickles. We're going to do the walkover in a couple minutes here. So uh, if you got that book, come find us. We'll let you check out the second half of the show. Let's throw rocks through the money lenders' windows. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's based on history. Come on. <laughs> Let's take their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, send them to the camps. Send them to the... Well, it's history. Send them to the camps and their luggage will follow. Luggage will follow. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, that's> true. <laughs> Use the hair for soap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because it's based on history, yeah, one yeah. person's like, well, these Fine. are based on historical... Oh, yes, okay. Fine. We'll drop... That's good. We'll drop leaflets, then bomb them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burn those shadows on the bridges. Burn the shadow. Slaves are very useful. <laughs> <laughs> they lift heavy things. You get to own their children. <laughs> and you can examine their teeth first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get some plugs in. Rich Voss, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Helium Comedy Club all weekend long, starting tomorrow night, right? Yeah, thanks. It's a great club down there. We met yeah. the staff. They're they're really, really cool. And Lucy K in Vegas, November 16th and 17th. Comedy, U.S. Comedy Festival in Vegas, or whatever it's called, thecomedyfestival.com. And Lowell Jimmy Norton. Hammerstein Ballroom this Friday. You can get tickets to Ticketmaster, and uh, it's actually selling it very well. It's not sold out yet, so come down if you can. Yeah, See let's, Jimmy. Let's get a last-minute push for Jimmy. Yeah, it would be nice. Support your pal, old Jimmy Norton. A bunch like of us. bad news with a tumor. I don't want to talk about it until Saturday. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's an after party at Headquarters Strip Club. who are sponsors on this show, I believe. Uh, 50 Ooh. listeners or 50 uh, guests of, the, of, of, of audience members are going to get a VIP thing of open bar, which is a horrible judgment error. Wow. Strip club really did they make idea. a mistake? And how are you going to pick those people? I don't know yet. I mean, I, this just came about, but there's going to be an after party that I will be at Headquarters. And... Uh, Wow, boy, say goodbye to that business. <laughs> what 50 a mess. drunks from this show. No kidding. <laughs> what an error you guys made. <laughs> All right, if you're not joining us over at XM, have a great day. Louis, thanks. Are you joining us, or what are you doing? Sure. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. All right, let the cursing begin. Yeah, I'm going to go to XM. The whole point. <laughs> <laughs> the only virus spreading across America. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. The XM walkover begins now. Crappy day in New York City. Raining like crazy. Disgusting. It's raining. Time for the walkover, Texam. Are we gonna get that uh, that kids book?
children's book. Ooh. It turns out it's not pickles. I know. Oh, we got a copy already? Which would be great. We're getting, we're, it. we're getting it. We'll get it. Uncle Willie's Tickles. Yeah. Tickles. Uncle Willie's Tickles. No. And it's That's about even saying even no. better. Because that means that Uncle Willie has been doing a little hands-on coochie cooing. Yeah. That's and uh, causing discomfort. But no. we're going to get it? Oh, that's great. Good old Uncle Willie. <laughs> what a trooper. Yeah, they got to get... pour it on with a name, too. It can't be like Uncle Harold's Tickles. Yes, yeah, it's got to be. They tried to say like the Uncle creepiest. Penis's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Uncle fucking Uncle Scrotum's ass fuck. <laughs> I don't think the Walmarts will uh, carry that. No. Old Uncle Memory Repressor. I don't think any <laughs> uncle should tickle any child. Ever. Not no, at all. Just go right for the fuck. It's not worth whatever the benefit is. <laughs> you know? The, the possibility that he's fucking your kid in the ass. <laughs> just, just don't tickle my kid, all right, you faggot? There's so many times on, on uh, sitcoms and stuff that you, yeah. you're watching, and guys are so inappropriate with young children on yeah. the shows, picking them up and playing with them in a way that if... If you ever did that, you would be either punched in the face by the yeah. parents or arrested. Oh, yeah. But in sitcom world, it's totally acceptable. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I would never let my kid be an actor in a sitcom or anything. No, no. No. It's another thing, yeah. Some <laughs> grown man is touching your kid. Just because there's a fucking camera rolling doesn't mean... Yeah. It, money's it, being made. The kid's going to be fine with it. No, of course not. All right. Stick your finger up the kid's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's like, it's a show. The show. <laughs> the good news is she's paying for her own college. The bad news is she sleeps on her stomach for six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Look at Kenny holding the umbrella over oh, Opie. It's, it's the most Kenny hair grabbing for the water thirstily. <laughs> <laughs> that dry hair is. <laughs> it's like a chia Oh, my pack. God. It's thirstily grabbing for water. <laughs> <laughs> thirstily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which way are we going today? I yeah, say we cross right here, Opie. Yeah. Well, yeah, now, no, look, the hands it's blinking red, ah, Jimmy. Fuck. Oh. Now oh. we got to go straight. Oh, you should see this funny thing I say. It's about talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're a scream. <laughs> a ah, here we go. Full of Wow, is that funny? <laughs> Come on, Dan. Oh. You're a big golf umbrella. Does your umbrella have to be that big, ma'am? How yeah. big are you? What are you trying to do? Keep your cunt dry? Get out of here, you. <laughs> <laughs> Drop something. No? can get her. Stop. Umbrella man, how's business? Business good? It's cool. All right. What does he sell when uh, it's sunny out, Jimmy? All right. I don't know. <laughs> I Probably bricks to other homeless people. <laughs> Crack. You know, with a white lady's head diagram. <laughs> Best place to hit. Let's walk. It's strike here. Oh, there we go. It's a short walk today. It's just too miserable out. Oh, oh, it's all miserable, cold. miserable. You, want me to put my you know, you? if it wasn't for those uh, <laughs> rainy days, you wouldn't appreciate those nice sunny days. That's right. Way to take lemons and make lemonade, and good point. Yeah. Is that right. hospital sign doing anybody any good up there? Where is it? Where is it's it? Up here, there's a little trail. <laughs> Wow! What, what, what hospital is that for? Is there a hospital sign? <laughs> what is, we never just noticed right it. Here. It's like, yeah, look at who's. Oh, uh, thank God! Where? Oh, I almost died because it, there's no arrow. It doesn't tell you <laughs> where just, it is. It's just a hospital. We'll just stand by the pole here and hope just someone to gets give you. you. The idea, a hospital. That's a great idea because I'm dying right now. <laughs> uh, where can I find one? The sign's like, I don't fucking know. I'm just mentioning hospitals. That sign is no help. No. You start getting chest pains. You look up. All right, hospital. Hospital, then, okay, but where? The sign's you, like, fuck you. You work it out. Then you drop dead trying to figure out where to go. Wonderful. <laughs> Only in New York. Just big, Mind your business! Just a big yellow hospital sign. Yeah. Flea has the uh, portable uh, Pal Talk. Pal Talk. Camera, good? Yeah. They're filming us for the computer right now. Portable. Oh my goodness. It's like they the cell do. phone of 1983. What can He's holding they do? a big fucking hip bag. Look at how big this umbrella is coming our way. Isn't that Oh, my God. Is that necessary? Oh my God. Why is your umbrella so big, sir? That is as tall as huh? you are. Excuse me? Why is your umbrella so big? I, for the yard, you know? This, this 11 of his relatives came to this country in that umbrella. I think he stole it from <laughs> someone's backyard. I think that was on a picnic table. I think it was an did you hang cafe. A, and... Did you hang a woman that was uh, yelling at you for <laughs> some construction right, yeah, work? Yeah, yeah. All right, go. <laughs> Good point, Ed. Let's move on. It does look just like the guy in the paper. What's Tyra doing? Oh, if only she was shutting up. 
Why is Tupac still selling records? Oh my God, he's got another CD coming out. Unreleased music features. <laughs> oh my God. Has he been dead 10 years? Yeah. Yeah, 10 years he's ten had. Years I think there's a glory hole in here. Maybe. <laughs> is that, no? Scrape away Tyra's mouth no. and you can stick your cock right in there. <laughs> By the way, I might, might shut her up. This documentary called Fuck, I saw it the other day. It's hilarious. What is it? It's a whole documentary on the word fuck. Wow. It's hilarious. We got an advanced copy. I checked it out at home. Even oh. the Janine Garofalo part? Ah, that was a little shaky. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. That was a little shaky. But the rest of it was really, really good. I don't know if i go for that talk. They talk about the FCC and George Carlin and the 730 words and what is the, the uh, actual definition of fuck and all that. It's very, very good, I'm telling you, as far yeah, as documentaries go. Check it out, Ant. Everybody taking shelter from the rain. Ooh. I don't like Voss's short jacket. Fucking shit. It's like a waiter's fucking jacket. <laughs> hey, bring me some clam chowder, dumb Jew. <laughs> <laughs> right inside today. Uh, yeah. See I you upstairs. Gas around the elevator. Oh, man. Hi. Sorry. How long? How long did that go? That was like forever, forever, right? Yeah, shit. We got stuck downstairs. One of the elevators was out of commission, and when they all work, it still takes forever. I think those are like steam-driven elevators down there. It's the worst elevator system in any building you've ever seen. They're always working on them, so it took forever. Jimmy cut a couple of good gassers. That was entertaining, but. That was playing for uh, well, about 10 up minutes. With the elevators. What was up with I the elevators? I don't know. There was one under construction. Yeah. Took forever. My God. It's not our fault, people. Uh, we want to come up here and entertain. Why are they not? I don't know, Jimmy. Not what? I'm annoyed. I want the name of this channel to have Opie and Anthony in it for name recognition. Because I was looking at Oprah and Friends is Oprah and Friends. You know who's, why? Whose channel's that? Bob Edwards? Exactly. Oh, the Bob Edwards. That's his show. And it's Bob Edwards. Wow. Public radio. We got a lot of dumps today. Did we? You want Kenny to do the dumps today? I think so. Kenny's got charisma. He's got spunk. Club soda Kenny. Dry take hair. Rich's uh, mic for a minute. No, he's not. His hair's looking Whoa! Good. Nice. Hey, what's up with this, by the way? I have no clue. Andy from London, England. Own a Experience and podcast I'm is number 18 in the iTunes video podcast chart. What is that? I don't know. I'm actually not familiar. And you know? No, never heard of that. You're usually up on that. It's a video podcast. iTunes video podcast chart. The Own a, Maybe Own a Experience podcast is number 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody turned our uh, one of our videos, whatever it was, into some kind of... Uh, downloadable podcast for your iPod. Oh, nice. And I guess it's doing well. Pal Talk, Eric says. Young Young Hawk says Pal Talk. Oh, Pal Talk video? Yep. Of what? Studio. It's oh, me. and they just, like, podcast that every day? Yep. Hmm. Oh. Oh, hey, sure going to be happy about that. Please this punch, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenny, time for the dump report. Live from the Opie and Anthony Show Studios, oh, the Daily Fuck Dump you. Report. Oh. Wait. Look at Kenny's glasses. <laughs> I, I don't know. You want me to try <laughs> like to Walter Cronkite oh. when Kenny died. <laughs> at yeah. at 3.15 like. this afternoon, Jim Norton said cunt. <laughs> 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 the nation mourns. <laughs> Dab your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Take your glass off. The glasses aren't even that bad. It's the fact that you don't have them all the way up when you read. Are they bifocals? Does Club Soda Kenny have bifocals? No, no. I just need them for reading. Ew. Why don't you take them off and try? I want to see how you do without them. This one's for long distance, and then when I look up, I could beat a perp skull in. <laughs> well, it's like we were talking today. He was talking about somebody who did something he didn't like. And he goes, I told that guy, like, look, I took the heat. I didn't tattletale on you. <laughs> tattletale. He says tattletale. <laughs> All right, it's Serpico. It's very demeaning. Uh, All right, go ahead. Tattletale. Uh, 6.42 a.m., that Canadian guy. Yeah. Fucking right on, fuck, and another fucker, too. Wow, really? Wow. It's great. I didn't realize that. Uh, <laughs> He's an unrefined gray fellow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that Canuck had such a potty mouth. 7.48 a.m. Is she having an orgasm or decomposing? Orgasm. Really? Why, why can't you say is she having an orgasm? 
Because yeah, women well, shouldn't come. That? They're dirty. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. All right. All right. Now cut, I... off, cut off their clitorises and let them do their hey, jobs Kenny, under yeah. our bodies. You know, <laughs> you're not trying to you womb with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing the job here. First of all, you missed 744. Uh, I don't have my glasses Blind ass. <laughs> all right, get your glasses on, because this is very entertaining for the folks. Because what, what, when he, he describes uh, how the curse was used is the fun, funniest part of this. Now. I don't, I, I, Go to I, 744. I'm sorry, I missed 744. If the light hits his glasses and his hair, it bursts into flames. That's <laughs> <laughs> why so you can't use them out in the sun. You can only read with moonlight. <laughs> 744, Mr. Louis C.K. Somebody did me in the mouth during oh. discussion of doctor who sexually oh, assaulted right, the and raped story. patients after they oh. were knocked out. Someone fucked my throat is what I meant yeah. to say. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I thought I cleaned well, it enough. You might as well have just said that. <laughs> yeah, Can so. I say someone treated my mouth like a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You might as well just let it fly, Louis. Yeah. yeah. So the ex so. could enjoy it. I guess so. And then 748, Rich Voss, is she having an orgasm or decomposing That's during amazing. a discussion of a story where somebody dug up a body and had sex with it? That's a bad dump. That should not have been dumped. Bad no. joke. No, it is. But it's, I'm teasing, of no. course, Mr. Hilarious. Voss. That should it not should have, have been dumped. No. It shouldn't have been dumped. Have America been needed to hear that on election morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> the next day. This is a new era. Exactly. <laughs> the Democrats have taken over. Did, did was she no coming more fear? Or, yeah. No more fear. Maybe that'll no. be better for us. The Democrats take over. No, it won't. All right. No, it won't. <laughs> it's it's not gonna, Al Gore's cunty wife is the one who started all that that's label. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. PMRC man, remember that the big battle. Cunty. She is. Want to put labels on her albums, man? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, shut up. Where yeah. was she for the Ladybug song? Ma I yeah, know, I know. know. Oh, hey, Rich. Oh, boy. Very good. Right. Uncle Rich nice is tickled. Call back. That's Uncle sleep at her Rich fucking <laughs> husband's <laughs> withered switch. <laughs> I'm going to call <laughs> Tucker Carlson, man. You're right there, man. That's true. Got to get you a spot on MSNBC. Political humor. Yeah, Here's how you know voices about saying something dumb. Because his hands are stiff and he starts to he starts to use his hands. Rich, you use your hands when you get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and his hands go out and his eyes open wide. Why? And you just know he's searching, and all he's saying is, please, God, let this come out right. I know what I mean. Please, God, let it come out right. His hands get stiff, and he just shakes them. You can't tell if he's making a fist ever, either. No. You just don't know. Ben, I mean, it's bendless the, fingers. It's just the same. Like John McCain's <laughs> arms. <laughs> Something yeah, happened. Tiny. Did you lose your hands in Vietnam? Yeah. What's going on there? They replaced them with turtle feet. <laughs> right. uh, something's going on there. It's, uh, <laughs> they are weird. They're all weird. I never noticed that. They're the gargoyle hands. The first night we were yeah. eating dinner, and then you looked at my hands, and you just stopped and go, look at your hands. They're, like, not evolved. Well, I fucking that, that's weird. exactly what they're doing. There's one knuckle. Hands. He's one knuckle short yeah. of a human hand on his <laughs> finger. But they're all the same Jesus. size. <laughs> Look at his thumbs and his fucking middle fingers are the same. Yeah, they're, they're all, all the same size. So weird. <laughs> like uh, everyone else, the middle one's a little longer, and then I have my web, kid, web. If my kid drew his hands that way, I would fucking punch her. <laughs> Learn how to draw, you stupid little cunt. What's wrong with you? That's not how you draw a human hand. Uh, I've got. <laughs> what are you doing? I've got web <laughs> web hands that aren't connected. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. And he's a great no, golfer. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beat her for that. All right, Ken, continue. Oh, that's fucking funny, man. <laughs> 7.49 a.m., Louis C.K. again. Drink this homeless guy's urine. Oh, I oh, can't drink on. piss. Jeez. What's wrong with that? You didn't say piss? No. No. I used a clinical term. Yeah. Right. A minute later... 750, Louis C.K. Jesus, sorry. Touch their bodies with your penis. All right, well, <laughs> no, that, we, we knew where that yeah, one was going. Can see. I knew it we was sacrificed out. that. Yeah. <laughs> 754, Dane Cook chimes in. We should all be molested by third and fourth graders. Uh, that's not what it says there, Kenny. It's no, not. Oh, by, by you third changed or the whole life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine it's being not. molested by a third or fourth grade. Wow. Wow. thinking. You How lucky you'd be. You made it funnier, but the line was, we should all be molested by the yeah. third or fourth grade. Oh, okay. Right. That's right. different. Right. I thought it was a typo. That's, yeah. a, that's a CBS thing. That's yeah, they have a problem with... Uh, yeah. any, any hot stuff. Youngster <laughs> stuff. Yeah, kid stuff. They're like, no way. Yeah, right. well. 7.54 a.m., Rich Voss has a small penis... 
I didn't say that. Why no. can't you say that? Because facts are not allowed on the radio. I... Mm. 8 o'clock, Louis C.K. After Voss said 12 inches, you mean his penis? <laughs> oh, my God. What baby's out? What, Al, what are you doing? Mm. Is, that, is that an FCC thing? Yeah, it's, uh, the FCC is tightened up, unfortunately. 820, I like this one from Louis C.K. <laughs> Little girl vagina smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that was, you were uh, describing that as a father, <laughs> describing right. a, a stinky this daughter. And I, smelly vagina I my daughter. I desperately want to ask a lot of questions about that. Yeah. I've never heard that from a parent before that you could smell. No, no parent fuck. would say it. They're Only fucking liars. Would. They're just liars. But you They're can tell the difference between the, the ass smell and that smell at that you age. Have any person. Wow. Fucking vaginas have a distinctive odor. <laughs> if it's her ass, she's gotta she's gonna die so, so soon. <laughs> if her fucking ass smells like fucking rotted clams. And I'm <laughs> really the wrong. And did you have a clue? God, really damn. wrong. I had no, no clue. I, no, I not not having any children or knowing any people with uh, girls that I would be around while they're dirty. Mm -hmm. uh, no. I figured it smelled like like powder and shit. I didn't know what kids. Yeah, I figured no, every is, kid smells good. I thought it when you like have a, kids, you're, know. you're as a guy, your relationship to the vagina it just changes completely. Really, it's always this mysterious, beautiful little pouty thing that I only catch in glimpses in the dark, <laughs> maybe three times in forty years. <laughs> and now I got to clean shit out of two of them daily. <laughs> I have to literally scrape shit. Out of my daughter's little red vagina, <laughs> a few times a day. A few oh times my a day. god! Got to get in there hard. with the wipey, make a corner out of it, and get the shit out of it. Holy! Every time she takes fuck. a shit, it goes straight up her gun. <laughs> 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 god, I had no idea. It's true. You are the it's parents true. out there all nodding. Wow. I had, yeah, they're all going. Yep. That's, I had no clue. That's no, what it is. Is no, and my the four year old awful. doesn't you. She doesn't. You know, she is toilet trained. But she'll lay on the carpet, w spreading it out, like pulling it open like a fucking Holy hustler, ma like like Marilyn Chambers, <laughs> like fucking yanking it open and just going, man, like just lay there doing that. Why? Because that's what people want to do. I mean, that's the happiest I've ever seen any person is her laying on the floor pulling her vagina open for the world. And I look at her and I realize that's a human being. That's a human being being happy. And for some reason, that's not okay. And no. I have I have to like inhibit that so she won't be homeless. What do you, I have to get her to yeah. stop what doing do you mean that. homeless? homeless. I, I want to put her up. Yeah. 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 She continues doing that. She's gonna be in a mansion what, somewhere. Yeah. What do you do? Because that's got to be one of those awkward things where you don't want to put too much emphasis. On it, so no, you can't go stop that. That's yeah, yeah, dirty. stop that. Don't be yeah. your animal. But, but you, you have to tell her that that's not right. So what do you? You have you to explain to her calmly that vaginas, when held <laughs> wide open, hurt or, people's yeah. feelings. Or, <laughs> no, yeah. or you bring your wife in and go, why don't you start doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you just let it, let her do it. Yeah, I have no reason to stop her right now. Yeah, people that's don't come over terrific. that often. But she will like. She'll she'll reach in her cute little girl underwear and and scratch her asshole like a knuckle deep, <laughs> stick her finger in her ass in front of people and then smells her finger. <laughs> she does that with no Holy reserve. Shit, Norton still what does that. What the hell? Is it? Yeah, my ex girlfriend used to do that. She, oh. One time I caught her. Oh, she was sitting on her. Her, uh, her ass and her legs were up, and she was sniffing her asshole with her finger. I'm like, "What are you doing? Yeah, Ew. what are you doing? No, like my, I had this moment with my. That's the what it is really like. What, what, parents dress their kids up and bring them out in public so that we can all see how cute they are. But yeah. at home, it's just fucking disgusting. I was taking a shit the other day, and my wife was out of the house, so I have to shit with the door open. Because I have to watch my kids. Otherwise, I have to gather them in to watch Daddy shit. <laughs> <laughs> the only alternative. <laughs> so I'm shitting with the door open and watching my daughter, who's standing there in a T-shirt and no diaper. Occasionally, we want to let her vagina breathe and not have all these <laughs> American fucking products on it. And I, I'm, she's watching her from behind, and just a little dark spot just appears between her cheeks. Like I, And I didn't, honestly, for a second, I didn't realize what it was because... I've never just seen an ass <laughs> shitting in the open. I know Jim has paid well for that. He says, yeah, he was that pleasure. <laughs> and then next thing I know, a fucking man-sized crap just fucking <laughs> oh right. She, she shits on the floor. <laughs> and then she slips on. I'm sh Keep in mind, I'm shitting at the moment. She slips on her own shit, falls deeply into it, cracks her head. Oh and now she's God. laying in her own shit and crying her eyes out because she got hurt. 
<laughs> and I, with shit hanging out of my ass, I got to get up and you waddle gotta over. I got to do the penguin walk over and pick her up and comfort her. And we're both covered in sh my shit, her shit. The dog is trying to lick it up because the dog loves my daughter's shit. He try tries to eat. And, now, and what all a the that's fucking man! Yes, that's my house. And they're speaking German. <laughs> yes. and so tapes are rolling. But yep. this is the stuff that happens. That is this is a fuck. regular day. A regular. That day. is why I I will never ever take food from a child. I don't oh, yeah, like no. children touch. Like like no. it's always yeah. Oh, a cookie! You brought me a cookie, and yeah. they're like slobbering over half of it. And yeah. someone. In the house, though, we'll eat this fucking piece of yeah, no. mucusy, spitty, shitty cookie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking like, don't even get that kid fucking near me. No. I threw away a couch because we had family. <laughs> we had family come over and two little boys uh, sitting on the couch with their father watching television. And the father goes, "What did you just do?" And I'm sitting on the couch like, "Oh, oh, <laughs> Christ on a pony! What the fuck?" And, and, he, and he goes, "Nothing." And, and the father goes, "No." Did you pick your nose? And the kid starts kind of laughing. Yeah. You wiped it on the couch. He goes, yeah, it fell. <laughs> he goes, well, now we got to look for it. So they're foraging through my oh, modular Jesus. couch for a booger that they never fucking found. No, of course not. I then spent weeks sitting in a little shit chair. I have this beautiful couch sitting in a shit chair until a new couch is delivered and the old one was thrown away. Yeah. And the old, by old, I mean maybe two years old. <laughs> threw that fucking couch away and made a new rule no kids ever in my fucking house no keep them out <laughs> that's it they're rancid little my creeps. girlfriend had to go around like waist high with windex and everything else every other kind of cleaner on the walls because there's smear marks nose prints made of snot on yep. the sliding glass doors yep. little little hand prints like the end of fucking Blair Witch mm -hmm. Project all mm -hmm. over your walls. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's it. No, the most We're disgusting thing that happens is when we change the baby's diaper uh, uh -huh. and it's a big, you know, just shit piss <laughs> diaper. And then the dog, uh, if we don't throw it away immediately in a sealed container, the dog will find it and just fucking eat it and leave <laughs> the residue all over the floor. Oh fucking my. chewed up shit piss diaper How and the chemicals from the diaper. Like that? <laughs> it's fucking rotten. How do you fucking live it's, like that as a human? Just regretful. I know, right? Regretful. Right. Right. <laughs> with a huge amount of regret. <laughs> like, I thought this would be a cool thing oh, having wow. kids. No, hey, uh, um, you hit a nerve there, wow. Louie. Let's go to John in Jersey. Kenny, we'll get to you in a second. John, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? What's going on? Hey, uh, first of all, I have a contest idea. Uh, if you like to run with it, uh, O and A nursery rhymes. What? Okay. Uh, o, o and A type of nursery rhymes. We I heard you the first time. For my daughter, yeah. like Jimmy with a transvestite. I crashed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he knew he's up loud. What else, John? Well, yeah, I wanted to say though, I can totally relate with you about the vagina issue because mm -hmm. I wiped shit out of my daughter's vagina numerous times. Mm -hmm. Before, and I still have to get in there once in a while to fucking, you know, when she craps herself with these. Eight-inch friggin' long logs. Oh, I'll tell that's you what you're know. telling your wife. That's the thing is, <laughs> you got to If your father, you should <laughs> change you, diapers <laughs> from the. Be, you should change diapers from the beginning. That's the trick. Because yeah. when they, when you first get diapers, they have the merconium, which isn't really shit. It's just this black sludge that comes out of their ass oh, when you're first born. Sludge. Yeah. And then it starts getting a little. Uh, fetid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get you you work up to it. You mix, like, you, you start mixing some other ingredients in there, yeah. right? Because I went on the road for a while and I didn't. I went away from it and my daughter kind of turned the corner on me. And then I come back. I'm just oh. it's a guy's shit. It, after a while, it's just a big fucking dump oh my God. And you got to clean it. Well, that is the last brown thing you want to see in your daughter's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I guess could be worse. <laughs> That's killing today. <laughs> and you're killing. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, that's so Kenny. Just awful. Let's, um, <laughs> doesn't it just sound horrific? It just sounds horrid. Don't but know, don't you, you? I mean, you. you what do you? You're. I remember when Jim and I were working on my show, and once we're about to go to, we're about to start shooting, and he's eating in the scene. So I touch his food with my all over the place with my hands because I know he has to eat it professionally. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes. Uh, are you kidding me? I pay women to shit in my mouth. You think I care? <laughs> yeah. Touch away, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at your fingers. <laughs> that was the funnest thing with Jim was when we were whispering to each other before shooting. Anything disgusting I would say to him, he would top it. Oh, yeah. One yeah. time I said to him, you know that AIDS started in your mother's ass. <laughs> And he goes, uh, yeah, well, it's going to end there, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bell rings. We're back. All right. 
I remember one time one of my favorite things was we were we were doing a scene in the in the it was me him and Mike in the in the bar area like we, or the the rest of the little diner we were sitting and there was a chick playing a waitress in the day before shoot and she had someone bought her a shirt. And you know, like the clear plastic long strip on it that will say like the gap large, yeah, that. Uh huh. It would just say like a bunch of L's on it for a large. Yeah. She had it on her thing, and he on said her tit. on her tit, and she didn't know it was there. And he said, "All I want is for that to be there tomorrow when we shoot. <laughs> <laughs> nobody catches that. Please, Please let nobody catch that. Just for her to shoot that stupid plastic clear thing on her. Have you ever walked out of the house with the? Uh, oh of those my god, on my oh, pants. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the back leg of your yeah, pants. Sure. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I've walked out of the apartment stores with that on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Kenny, the dump report. Where were we? 8.24 a.m. On his knees, per- pleasuring someone for a vial. Anthony, yeah. about Voss needing money for drugs, on his knees, gave it too much detail. Oh, it did not. Come on, Al. You That's, relax, really, that's dude. really touchy. Yeah. I, I would love to see the station be fined for that. It just wouldn't happen. Mm. I've read transcripts of what the stations get fined for. It's a lot more blatant than that. Stop. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, I hear that, too. What is that? It might be the wireless. Oh, I thought it was music. Oh. Okay. All right, go ahead, Kenny. 8.40 a.m., you can see that stuff in your underwear. Voss talking about Norton and his STD test for syphilis and gonorrhea and how you know if you have it. Yeah, let's hey, get into this. Because as soon as you said that, I knew they were going to dump down. I'm like, come on, we got to discuss this a little bit. But you, What do you see in your underwear? No, when you have the clapper syphilis, you get uh, a green drip in your underwear. Oh, green <laughs> You know what? Drip. I'm glad they yes. dumped it. Holy fuck. Well, I'm saying you could see it. You know sure. that you have the class. That's why you go. It, mm-hmm. it burns or you have a discharge. It's an infection. Yeah. A what? Uh, you it, stuff uh. pours out. <laughs> yeah, let's hear that one again. Discharge. <laughs> Discharge. <laughs> so as you uh, know, it's green. I guess I don't know when I, I yeah, know you I know. heard you all yeah. too well yeah. know and, and, and it was in the back <laughs> <laughs> olive green. Yeah, it's horrible. You, you're burning. You've had the uh, clap. Did I have it? Yeah. Oh, please. When I was uh, like 17, 18, back then, you he didn't. laugh at the clap. You yeah. didn't have condoms back then. No one the name didn't have condoms. He's the one who coined the phrase. No, you didn't. You <laughs> used, to, <laughs> used to go. I used to go to the clinic, and you'd know people there. Oh, you're back again, yeah. and this and that. His underwear he looked like a mess so much that they'd, they'd <laughs> applaud him when he. That's how they started calling it the clap. Yeah, uh, Rich is back. Hey, Rich is back. Nice to see you again. The worst. He was making a boo for a while. The worst was I lived with this girl, and she was going down on me, and I, I had the crabs, and all of a sudden she sees this little crab moving, and mm-hmm. she's going down on me, and she flipped out. I go, well, you're not going to finish? I mean, you started. Just get rid of You know, you fling it off. And those are the worst. Fling it off. Yeah, what's the big deal? It's a crab, okay? So you just get rid of it. You know, you can't start giving someone head and stop. Yes, no. you can. I, I've had crabs three times. Yes, you can. You had crabs? Yeah. I had crabs once. Yeah, oh, that was did you? Awful. Three yeah. times. Wow. Pretty awful. God Scabies damn. Babies are worse because they burrow in the skin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Kenny. They He's burrow like, in. Just, I actually, I, when I got the crabs, a girl uh, that I had just left with called me and said, uh, hey, you have the crabs, you asshole. And I was like, what? And she said, I just realized I have the crabs, which means you gave them to me. I'm like, fuck you, you gave me. We got no fucking <laughs> fight <laughs> about the crabs. <laughs> Ever settled? <laughs> and know, you, kn- you probably knew. I hadn't slept with anybody recently, so yeah. I know where I got them. Well, but crabs is not like uh, a VD or the clam or anything. Yeah, you can bed, get yeah. it from a you know toilet seat. No one ever has though. No. You, you know anything. something? Yeah, I've never gotten it from a bed or a toilet seat. <laughs> I've never gotten it. Well, it I just... Obviously, you never jerked off on a toilet seat before. Then yeah, you can obviously as a idiot. kid. <laughs> <laughs> as a kid, I jerked off on everything. <laughs> you everything. It. You toilet can get it from seats. a bed. You can get it from a bed in a hotel. You can also get it from a girl or a prostitute. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. you ought to look. Did you ever get it from a bed? Did I? Yeah. I, this was years. I don't remember where I. I didn't. I didn't. All right. I'll tell you where I got it from. A 19-year-old. Uh, no, she was. I was 19. She was like 16 or 15. Black girl. And her pussy smelled so bad, I could smell it. We were sitting on my steps, yeah. and she was standing two steps away, and I could smell her pussy through her jeans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, was, wow. it was like she was smuggling a fucking a platypus carcass <laughs> in her underpants. No, it fucking pussy. reeked. I was fucking this girl. Her pussy was so bad. I had to lean over the side of the bed, and I was dry heaving. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not lying. I was, right. her pussy soft. I was dry heaving as I'm fucking her. Right? No. And Didn't thank stop, God. Though. Well, thank God that I'm a bad fuck and I would come quick. This way, I, I killed two birds with one shot. It was so wow. bad, that fucking horrendous smell. Here's the worst. When you pull your dick out and it reeks and there's that fucking white slime oh, yeah. on the oh, base Jesus. of your dick. Oh, that's, yeah. man. That's a yeast Jesus. infection. Whatever you know it is, who knows? That's probably why it reeks, too. Yeast fucking kills a box. Yeah. When you fucking got that in your pubes, that fucking white... Mm. Caked up haste. Shit. Like fucking Betty Crocker. I was your vanilla blue. dumper. I, I picked up this fucking Mexican and I was working in Houston and I'm. It was disgusting. I'm fucking a little. Ugh, me then she leaves and I look in the bed and there's a wrapped up napkin that she was using. It's a fucking Kotex. I didn't know she was. It was her oh, she had just wrapped the napkin, yeah, used that, and I then guess went. Somewhere in a club, she put a napkin or wrapped up as a coat. And I, fucking, oh, and I felt God. disgusting just from bucking her. Oh. And then I, I roll over and I roll onto this bloody napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Did you put it in your mouth and suck on it? No. Yeah, uh, bad that would have smelled. Little bloody taste. burrito. Uh, like pennies. Uh, oh, what a history you have. And then you're mad at some girl for not wanting to blow you while there was a crab in your... <laughs> crab oh, yeah, and wine in her eyeball. <laughs> sure you have wildlife in your pubes. And, and fucking an elk on your balls. And you want to know why she won't suck your cock. You selfish asshole. <laughs> All right, let's uh, finish up the oh, There's report. more. Wow. Yeah. 841, Louis C.K., <laughs> when you're done masturbating to FHM. Yeah, yeah they don't. Uh, they hate masturbating, that word. Yeah. They're such babies. Yeah, I know. Say, you got to say stroke the baby producer. And <laughs> That's not even a uh, an FCC word either, masturbate. Speaking of FHM, they should get the monthly issue with you guys in it. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Good tie-in, oh, Kenny. Nice, nice. nice. Good like plug. That. And behind-the-scenes photos on opianthony.com. Cool. We finally got those up there. Go ahead. 8.44 a.m., Louis C.K. again. Your baby's being raped. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> well, you know. That's maybe. Oh. Nice. 8.50 a.m., Mr. Norton, did the lamb make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? Oh, my God. All right. <sighs> no, that has to go. Does it really? Yeah, new FCC. To make you perform fellatio? It's not, it's yeah. not even dirty. I think all of it is ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, it, it's ridiculous, but... It's meaningless. Go ahead. Last one. Last one, 850 from a caller. Why did you have sex when you were 10? Oh, my... That one is... Eh, it's another one of those. The too Kid young. Stuff. Kid stuff. It wasn't talking in any detail about... Ah, whatever. Well, yeah. this started fun, and now it's Stupid. like, this sucks. All right, we'll, uh, we'll continue. We got lots of lots of other things to do today. We got some dice audio? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Dice smashes one of the ONA pests at one of his shows. One? So now... That was half his crowd. Well, we'll talk <laughs> about that next. We got uh, a reporter messing up and saying top cock. This is really funny. Mm. Top cock? Yeah, Louis C.K. in studio playing Vegas November 16th and 17th. Yes. Voss starting tomorrow night at Helium Comedy Club all weekend long in Philadelphia. It's Whip Em Out Wednesday. It's not new. Back. Uh, go ahead, Jimmy. I like welcoming everyone back to the Opie and Anthony ro uh, radio program here on XM Satellite Radio. Uh, now we're only on XM Satellite Radio with Louis C.K. and Richard Voss. And Aunt Note, myself, and Hawk and Fan. And Thank Voss you. was brilliant uh, when we went to break. Wow. Listening to Voss trying to make poignant statements, I want to stuff. hug him. It was good stuff. Rich. Thanks for listening. Yeah, see, he agrees. He knows. Yeah, Rich said, know. He says really deep things like it's about money. And then he opens his eyes wide like conversation over. The almighty dollar. That's right. Hit them in their pocketbooks. And seatbelts on buses. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow it went from the, you know, horrors of hijacking and uh, why oh, why there weren't locks on cockpit doors to seatbelts on buses. You know what it is? He saw some expose, like, last night and couldn't oh. figure out a way to talk about it. And today he figured out a way. Like, it just happened that we went in that direction. You know, I thought he was making some sense. I don't know. What How was that? Guys, I thought he was making yeah, sense. Yeah, thank you. But see, here's the thing. You know, we're talking about hijacking an anthrax, and this idiot's opened a box from a stranger. No, you here's know, the that's box. Like, it's not from a stranger. Oh. It's from Dirty Ralph. The guy's the great. He's oh, these Dirty Ralph. He's Kiss CDs yeah. and DVDs. Oh. There's a friend knows, of mine that I threw the show. He sends me good stuff. Thank you, Dirty Ralph. But I, I do make a lot of sense. I do know You don't make one. sense. I, yes, I do. No, We're you talking don't. about senators Listen, and you, lobbyists and making deals and who's running the country and who's, you know. What but you were saying to. it's a conspiracy. Yeah. Not a and then you were just straightened out by everyone. 
Louis talking about how big business has just kind of really runs our lives more than uh, the government. politicians do. Right, and government, yeah. just based on the fact that they're the ones that supply us with everything we need on a daily basis to live as humans in this country. Mm -hmm. And... You brought up a conspiracy. No, no, it's like no, media. no one thought forty, fifty years ago <laughs> no. that it was going to be. This was going to be the end game. It just capitalism evolved into yes. this as like mm -hmm. communism evolved into something that didn't quite work. Capitalism is evolving into this other thing where business no, has like, a lot of uh, power. I mean, it's the way that Halliburton supplies the soldiers, and so they charge whatever they want, right? Yeah. And they fuck it all up, and nobody cares. No, it's I'm the same saying, thing. If you live in a, any town in America. You're getting your food from ShopRite and mm -hmm. your crap from Walmart, and nobody right. else can even send a truck there. And there's no accountability by no. these other people, no. or no, you know, no, that's well, just no. the way it is. What are you you're getting the only one person. Yeah. What I was saying, what I was saying, uh, is hands. What he, what he, the, the author he was talking about is yeah. making it look like a conspiracy. What I'm saying is, it's all about money. He's not telling us anything we don't know. When you're talking about Noam Chomsky, Noam Chomsky yeah. uh, you know, saying it's these big businesses. Speaking of Noam I'm saying, how those hands don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were open that time. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> yeah, love you on the Travelocity commercials, boss. <laughs> wow. All right, we got a, a news reporter that fucked up pretty good. Oh, Oops. No. Oh. This is uh, some terrific audio. The video's up on YouTube and Break.com. Rich's headphones are not working. Turn the volume up, Rich. I did. Oh. Rich, you can do it without headphones. Sweetie, oh, okay. but he, 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 he won't hear the report up. Calm he won't down. hear the That's audio. True. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. He's got to hear that. Somebody Turn get the volume up. You plugged in? How, how, I'm sure he's got something misspelled yeah. to say about this report. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The deputy police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after a cop after the hit. <laughs> wow, twice. Wow. She couldn't wow. get cock. Oh. She had cock on a brain. Cock, 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 I mean, big cock, cock, Wow. Is that great? Wow. The deputy police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock, top cock after a cop after the vehicle they were riding in was sprayed with bullets. Three other officers were hurt in the attack. And those are your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. I'm going to send you back to Shepard, who is live where? Outside of Memphis. No, <laughs> oh. oh, they're all laughing. South Carolina Gamecocks. She's a big fan. Go South Carolina. Do you know how I'm hard sorry, it is to read it. when everyone else in the hard. studio is shaking with laughter at your mistake? I know. I've, I've been there, Jane. You're yeah. Worse for me many billions of times. Now. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Wow. It's Friday, Jane. No one's watching. They're out doing things. <laughs> it's just me, you, and Dorellen down in Destin. That's it. <laughs> We'll look for you on YouTube there, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, that's good. All right, at least I did. love that a policeman died and they're all laughing. They're all laughing <laughs> over cock. cock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Great. Fuck them. Ah, who cares? YouTube. Fuck Cop, we, faggot. Always. Laid his life down for people. Fuck yeah, him. Yeah, Fuck him. We got the cock line on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Watch this chick. So the deputy good. police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after a cop after the vehicle they were riding in. You can in hear him starting to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Otto doing the thing? Cock. Top cock. A cock was shot. Do we have the uh, Shepard Smith one? We have that, and we should do Rip Con for Louis and, yeah. uh, and the Black Con. Cock one. Come on, let him rip. We got, yeah, let's Shepard Smith. This here. was the Shepard Smith we got first. Yeah. This is uh, the guy that was just talking to the girl after she fucked up saying Top Cock. This is the guy that chimed in and said, we've all been there. He's done this before. J-Lo's new song, Jenny from the Block, all about Lopez roots, about how she's still a neighborhood gal at heart. But folks from that street in New York, the Bronx section, sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job or blo block party. <laughs> oh, the New York Post. Well, sorry about that slip up there. Yes, sorry I have no about idea that. How that happened, but it won't happen again. <laughs> and that's your news. That wasn't Jeez. even close. No, it wasn't. Blow job. Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking so, cop. Okay, you know, fucking dick in the cunt. I, I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. breakfast. J Lo. <laughs> like, what? J Lo new film rape that spick wait a minute that's not what i meant, that's not what I meant to say <laughs> i meant made whatever deputy police chief says six officers were killed including the district's top cock top wow. cock after a cop after the vehicle they were Jesus. you can't get cock off her uh, one thing i'll say about dumb shepherd smith he did acknowledge it both times you gotta yeah. give him that he's a you, got, you have to uh, we, acknowledge it. we got this next one we haven't played in a while 
easterly winds will be very strong too, and that will cause coastal flooding, very dangerous rip, con- rip currents, as well as very high surf. <laughs> wow. Rip currents. Do we have the, like um, the idea that there's weather about? that's ripped like there's going to be these cunts <laughs> yeah. ripping through the sky? I was going to say, was she talking about Louis' uh, daughter? <laughs> yeah. Do you have the Tom Brokaw? The Brokaw yeah. one we have? Oh, we got that How one, too? How about the Martin Luther King That's one. a good one, too. Yeah, we'll play the Martin other one there. Play Brokaw, because that's kind of close to the last one. Or play the one you got, Derek. He had one all cute. Right. Make it easy for him. Continuing to follow the latest developments in the crash of Delta Flight 5191, 49 people killed. Here's a Black Hawk helicopter, Black Hawk helicopter <laughs> surveying uh, the scene. Oh, we know the NTSB. Black Hawk oh, helicopter. This is the latest, this this is the latest the, rage on YouTube. I mean, there's all this oh, like, yeah. dedicated to reporters fucking up. Plane full of dead people. Eh, Black, Black Hawk. Funny Hawk. Funny Black Hawk. The Black Hawk helicopter. How big was that helicopter? <laughs> oh. Huge. Uh, now this hit that, Tom Brokaw. That, that, that what no, you want no, the, no. the bell? Oh, thank you. There we go. Close one. <laughs> I had a doozy. <laughs> a little inappropriateness. Uh, this is Tom Brokaw, who has a hard enough time speaking as it is. But um, he was talking about the president's uh, tax cuts, and this was live. The key component in what the president insists is a job stimulus program. Ohio, a strong Republican state, is hurting economically. And as NBC David Gregory reports tonight, the president took his message right to a powerful Ohio Republican who is not convinced the tax cuts are the answer. See, he didn't fumble and go back. He just now, there's a little delay. The tax cuts are the answer. <laughs> and his face, yeah, 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 when you look at the video, it's kind of like, oh, uh, shit. Keep going. Keep going. You know, as a viewer, though, you're rooting for him to get to the end of the sentence. <laughs> tax sure. cuts. He's just struggling to that period. Oh. All uh, right, we got the Martin Luther one. Yeah, yeah this, this guy got fired for yeah, this. Quite, it's really, none of them got fired except this guy did because of the fuck. This is what annoyed me. And this is that. obviously a slip up. I, I okay. think. Of course it was. Yeah, let's listen to it, and then uh, we'll tell you what he meant to say. The next couple of days, temperature is going to stay well above normal after a couple of days well below normal. Here's a look at your extended forecast for tomorrow. Sunshine, 60 degrees, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, We're going to see temperatures in the uh, low 60s and mostly sunny skies. (laughs) Look at that as we head toward Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It was King... Because he was going with Junior. It was Junior. Martin That's that Martin Luther King Luther Jr. It wasn't King Junior. King yeah, Jr. he was, he was like rushing through it. King Junior comes out. Coon. Black Hawk Coon. helicopter is fired. Black Hawk. A rip, cop death. And rip this, cunt. Rip this cunt. Tense cunt. Top cock over a police officer. Six dead cops. And then no one in them are fired. But this guy makes a yeah. politically incorrect, obvious error, and they dump him. Mm. Oh, can we do the... Uh, do you have the mountain climber one? That is my favorite. I forgot all about that one. Oh, we do have it? Yeah. I don't Let's, know that one. I have so Let's many of these. One, Louis. Okay. Right after the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. So we'll be about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. He's gay. Okay. He's gay. Okay. You know, it's some gossip. Oh, he's gay. He's blind. He's blind. <laughs> she went to blind. lunch with the girls <laughs> and got some nice God. gossip. <laughs> and that's all she was thinking. And even she, she went, he's gay. Gay. Okay. I mean, fucking blind. <laughs> Shit. No. no. I right. take yes. the dick up his ass. Wait a minute. He has brown eyes. I don't know how I made that. Decision. He's so blind that people but, shove dicks in his mouth. It's <laughs> made him gay. It's he just up, can't he see them coming. But he, he, know he was everywhere gay. he goes, he's like, hey, oh, oh, geez, he's gay. You know, the guy's sitting there going, and I'm, yeah, I'm. But bl- listen to gay because she starts talking to herself like, gay. Gay. What are you said, saying? Oh, I said that. Uh, yeah. Who said that? Yeah. Let's hear that again. It's me. Right after the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. <laughs> so we'll hear about that coming up. Okay. As we head to the break, I'll look at this. <laughs> they're, they're not even close. Oh, no. There's not one it's letter no that, that is shared by both words. No. 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 Gay, blind, no. <laughs> he's a faggot gay. cocksucker. Wait, I mean, he's a Republican. <laughs> Got a load of cum in both eyes, which blinded him. God, we got a lot of requests. You got the uh, the weatherman? Which one was that? The black weatherman? I don't want to give away the... Yeah, don't give away the punchline. The bit, if, in case people haven't heard Uh-oh, it. Uh-oh, e pointing at the screen. You know this isn't going to be the right clip. No. <laughs> uh, do you see the look? Yeah. I God, I wish this was TV, just to see e disgusted look when I make fun of him. 
Oh, he hates it. Turns his head real quick like, it's such a fuck you. And then he's back to whatever he does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back to the incompetent bungling. <laughs> we got it? I guess. They hope so. All right, here it is. Be pushing across yeah, yeah. Central Florida, Listen so places floor. like Orlando, Daytona Beach, the Cape Canaveral area, Vero Beach will be getting in on the heavier rainfall, and eventually the ice should. Con <gasps> <laughs> I am so sorry, Bill. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell just happened? Uh, uh, <laughs> this is what just happened. That thing was crawling on my leg. Oh. Uh, by the way, that guy is so fucking blind. He is the blind. <laughs> Let me tell you. Seen. That is that a flaming see blind it. man. Uh, that guy's gay voice came out. <laughs> that probably <laughs> needs a dog and <laughs> a stick with red on it. Like he was hiding his gay voice for the most part. You could kind of tell. And then that, oh. it's a cockroach. The cockroach appears. Wow. A roach. I the, think the other kind he would have liked. And the gayness oh came God. flying out of the closet. <laughs> oh. oh, we got another track to this, right? And then this happened. Oh, God. If that. Oh, my God. What a faggot. Right at the wall for me. Yeah, oh, back. The wall with a hole in it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, oh. oh, what a fruit. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, it's a bug. Yeah, I know. Okay. And he's black like he's never seen roaches. Oh, I love no, when you see, course. like, when there's this, this the kind of people that can't really hide. Like that guy, the uh, preacher, who's just been yep. accused. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm, oh, I had never Haggerty. seen the whole story. Oh. And it, they start, you know, they they discredit the uh, gay prostitute, yep. saying, "Well, he, you know, lie detector." But then they cut to the guy. I'm not gay at all, and my wife, I love my wife. <laughs> this is fine. He's so flaming. <laughs> and that guy had to really pop right out and go, "Okay, I'm a liar. How great! Uh, is I do drugs and I like the cock. How Thank great! Thank you. Is good it? night. <laughs> Thank you, my parish. All these fucking scumbag religious people uh, fucking just bothering gay people. The only reason fucking, the guy uh, came out against them was because this fucking guy was up there preaching against gay marriage yeah. and homosexuality Damn. is the devil's fucking work. And, the, and no, this I'm, guy is fucking him every month. Turns around and goes, you know something? Fuck you. Good for that guy. No, yeah. It's amazing. It's like the whole point. Especially, this guy's not Catholic, but I'll shit on them for it anyway. Why not? <laughs> uh, because uh, it doesn't oh, get what away. I say. I'm not a politician. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I can but have bad judgment. I'm just trying to be entertaining. <laughs> exactly. No, but it's like the, if you look at the Catholic Church objectively, it's like uh, uh, they are a, a boy fucking machine. They're like the best mm -hmm. boy fuckers in history. It's almost yeah. the whole point of the institution. It's like what they do that better than anything else that they have tried. They've to do. worked it into an art. It's amazing. They, they, they have move guys it. around when they get caught. They move them around. They have their own internal investigations, yep. so it doesn't involve anyone else. Mm -hmm. They made their own almost police force of this thing, mm -hmm. and all they do is, yeah, okay, this guy's fucking touching children here. We'll move them over here. Yeah, and like also they're stop. they're a vulnerable boy catching machine. Oh yeah, you, you parents know. send them. <laughs> exactly. Parents send them. Fucking here you go. Go get your dick Rape up. away. Moving back for a second. Burton and Philly on the instant feedback. His last name is Haggard, just like his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Pastor Ted was a naughty one. Yes, oh, he Pastor was. Oh, Pastor Ted was a naughty boy. Naughty boy. <laughs> we got any others back there? Mike uh, Jones was giving him some yeah. muscle dick. Do we have the one with the uh, argument? The argument. I love the, uh, the one that happened during Katrina. Uh, what? The, I think it was during Katrina, the oh, weatherman they... for CNN, and the anchor girl. Okay, that's uh, a good the one. The weatherman was taking a little too you know, long. We could oh, I remember that one. We might as well play all of them then, because we got to play the L.A. news team. That is a great one. Another good one. And oh, Dirk, Dirk's got one here to play. Because they're such puppets. I mean, when they fuck up, it's great. You, you, you simply get chills every time you see these poor individuals. As Jack uh, Cafferty just pointed out, uh, so tragically, so many of these people, almost all of them that we see, are so poor and they are so black. And this is going to raise lots of questions <laughs> for people who are watching this story unfold. Ah, Wolf Blitzer, man. Yeah, right on. I watched Wolf that Blitzer live. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched that oh, live when it happened. I'm just sitting they watching Katrina so coverage because it's all you did when that was going on. I went home, turned on the news. Yeah, it's better than Comedy Central. It really was. Just a scream. <laughs> uh, and Wolf Blitzer's on. He's in front of his 20,000 TV screens. And when he said that... I, I actually looked over at my girlfriend and said, did he just say that? <laughs> like, did... America said, said the same thing. <laughs> yeah. If you'd been standing anywhere, you would have heard that. They are so poor and so, so black. black.
But where was, where was he going with that? I don't get like was it yeah. their tone? Or I think it was trying to go into the fact that you know they're not getting the help they need be, because uh, of their race. Right. Yeah. Uh, but if it was a bunch it, of white people, but to say they're so poor and so black. Yeah, so, well, just that it, when, when, not when, so when, many when black sees, people. Yeah. He's lots of he's just he's stunned by people's blackness. You could say that <laughs> about three Jesus, people. Those you know, are black. two people in the room. Uh-huh. They are so black. <laughs> I think he meant there are so many that are so poor. And so many black people, yeah. but he fucked it all up just going, like, there's one guy that is just black as night. Yeah. <laughs> so well, black. Well, you can't blame him. It's not like he's an eminent journalist or anything. <laughs> no. It's not like that's Hasn't his Hasn't been job. in the business that many years. <laughs> yeah. We got another one. We got two more to play here. But the storm was 902 millibars. 902 was the lowest that you had with this storm a couple of hours ago. So it has filled in a little bit, filled in with some air, okay, not so as low of pressure. Chad, but Chad, Camille, Chad, but, Chad, let me trans, talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Well, if you would let me talk. <laughs> Camille, Camille was 908. And so this is actually now not as strong as Camille, but not really as strong as it's been. 908, I'm, I'm walking over here because no, you're, uh, I can have this chart, but it's not in front of me. 908 millibars is 26.81 inches of mercury. This storm got down to 26.61, and right now it's 26.98. Now, if you would go to your home barometer that you have, it's probably a big circle hanging on your wall that you got is from it? an uncle somewhere. If you go look at that, that is completely something. off this the screen. This guy got something from an uncle, Rarely. and it wasn't would a barometer. You have to have a barometer <laughs> that would go like that one. low in the northern hemisphere, unless you were up. Shut up. Get under her. Just having I'm fun, he says. He goes, all right, just having fun. No, it wasn't fun. You were angry. Because she, she had every right to fucking jump in because he's yes. babbling about barometric fucking pressure. That guy's an asshole. Oh, what a tool. I don't know who he is, but if you live in his town, please uh, yeah. invite him to die on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> please fucking encourage him. I don't know that man, but he's a cunt. How many more we got? Just the L.A.? All right, and then we finally got this. I don't think this made the air, Louis, um, but I guess... During a break. During a break, the the news team went at it. It's like a mm-hmm. like a, a chick and a guy there in L.A., in and LA. they just went at it just before the news started. Listen to this tape. First segment. It's done that way all the time. It That's frequently what I is. It frequently well, is. Well, then we better talk about it. you hear me complaining it? about it? Then we better tonight talk I'm about it. Tonight I'm complaining because tonight then I said, Then we better hey, talk about it because I think I you've got a problem. I think we've got a problem, all right? If that's what you think, then we'll talk about it after the show, and we'll talk about it with Roger Bell. Because I'm not going to sit here night after night and put up with this shit. Okay? Night after night? Night after night? Well, Where, that, what, it let's, looks how to me I, like that's the way it's going to go, I'll Ann. take the ante up a little higher than that, even. Than that, even. You're not only wrong, you're way out of line. Let me tell you something. You kid, started it, pal. You want Harold Green, you might get him. I'm fine then, with then, me. Fine oh, is with it me. really? Good old oh. Harold Green. Okay. Okay. You want to start dealing with shit? Go ahead. <laughs> That's wow. what you want. You just might get it. Awesome. You know, you go home and have a couple of shooters, and I don't know what the fuck happens, but when you come back, you're not the same lady. That's not true. <laughs> Some nice it is, man. When news happens, you see it happen on Channel 7. <laughs> don't you? The number one station for news and information in Southern California. Now, Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. This is Eyewitness News Tonight. Three men dead tonight in an execution-style <laughs> murder in Los Angeles. And he just goes right into it, man. What a pro. What These a fucking the pro. These Accusing the his fucking lackey next to him of drinking one when she goes home. Do a few shooters. I don't know who the fuck you come back at. <laughs> In between the 6 and 11 o'clock news. Yeah, I'll tell you something, lady. They go home and do whatever. You're a different lady. You're a different lady. Oh, do a awesome. couple of fucking shooters. Uh, and she's just, I do not. In a tone of voice that means, yes, I do uh, yeah. every fucking night yeah. to deal with you. We got one oh. more. We keep finding them. The Bill Evans and Steve uh, Borlstein mm. fight over Donald Trump's uh, oh, yeah. wife's name. Yeah. Seen this? Mm. This is the new dress. Yeah, something old, something. The weatherman is taunting the oh, anchor no. guy. Yeah, it's the the anchor uh, says her name wrong, and the weatherman starts taunting him, and he gets pissed. Like, what? The, you're the fucking weatherman. Mm-hmm. Why are you taunting me, motherfucker? 
Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. This is the new dress. It's something old, something new, and something that costs about a hundred grand. Here's a look at the wedding dress made for a supermodel. Melania Naus, the former or the future Miss. <laughs> Let's wait, wait, go over that name again, Steve. Was, what was that? You know what? Why don't you do it, Bill? No, I'm not the anchor, Steve. Melania, right? Why don't, why don't you go over? Why don't no, you do it? I'm not the anchor. Well, you know what? Then, then I'll pipe down over <laughs> there during well, the video. Well, then you? what then, Steve? Go ahead, do it, Bill. <laughs> it has 300 feet of satin. If you're not the anchor, then don't interrupt me. I would just, I wanted to know what you said. If you're not the anchor, then go, don't. Go, baby, go. Go. The gown was designed by John Galliano for Christian Dior. <laughs> and the bride plans another dress of Vera Wang design after the couple's first dance. The wedding is set for Saturday. Why don't you give it a shot there, Bill? Hey, I'm just representing the audience. I'm just I, I representing. Heard, I heard. You know, heard and now. <laughs> My bad. I'm My just, bad. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm not looking for an apology. Steve. I know. So I'm, I'm just I'm saying, sorry. would you like to take another shot? No, I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I can't take a shot at it. That's why I do the weather. I don't read that stuff. Right. It is so cold it is outside. Cold. <laughs> cold in here, too. <laughs> Take a shot at the weather if you want. I don't, I don't, I don't matter. I'm good with that. Hey, dude, I'm, okay. I, get, I get paid either way. Oh, you, 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 it will be a day where it will be a cold day. It's, we yeah. lucked out and got that one on our own. We just happened to be rolling. We tape. were watching nope. that as it happened. No yeah, one has that one. That one never made no, it to local, YouTube or anything. People get in each other's asses. Oh, I really do. Yeah. I, sometimes when I do stand up on the road, I do like some TV morning show. Mm -hmm. As if anybody that's watching morning TV is going to. Oh, those are the show. worst. Yeah, the worst. But I, it was this one in Sacramento. And it was the usual team, kind of older guy and lady with too much makeup. <laughs> and but they had put in a young guy, like hoping that that was going to beef up, you know, that's going to yeah, bring in the younger get the demo. ladies to watch. And it was yeah. some fucking kid, some fucking guy who had to show on Comedy Central for a minute. I forget his name, Chris something. I forget his name. But Colin anyway. Quinn. <laughs> 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 but so he, uh, I said, hey, uh, uh, he's, uh, he said, yeah, I'm stuck here in Sacramento doing local news. What a shitty job, you know. But during the break, oh, and I said, and, and uh, sitting right next to him is the anchor who's been there for like 50 years. And I said to the guy, to the young guy, you know, it's a job. You should be grateful that you're working. There's nothing wrong with local news. It's a, it's a career. And the, and the old anchor goes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, Could you no, listen to no. him, please? Like, and they got into serious? a huge yelling match. <laughs> oh, and then we're on great. the air in a second. Hi, good morning. Hey, we're, how yeah. you doing, everybody? <laughs> Spread the love. We love yeah. each other. I love it. We've had some of those around here. Who are we kidding? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you play the Jim Norton Opie one? Nah, that was yeah. on the air, though. We didn't hide that. That was done Yeah, on no the air. shit. That was on the air, man. For an hour. Unfortunately. Really? And I was that. Did you hear how that whole, that fucking bitch during that last segment was uh, sitting there trying? And she goes, well, <laughs> bye now. Yeah, that was me. I fucking grew tits and my cock turned into a pussy in a second when these two started going at it. We went at it and we honestly thought it was like five minutes. Seriously, maybe wow. seven minutes. Someone goes, dude, you guys just went at it for 15 minutes. It was oh 15 God. minutes where... I can't 50, imagine that. 50. This wasn't a fucking joke. It wasn't a bit. I mean, wow. serious. Listen to me, fuck face. I can't like imagine Like that kind that. of shit. And I, all of a sudden, I was, I was seven years old, and my mommy and daddy <laughs> were arguing, That's and awful. the spaghetti hit the wall mm -hmm. and went down the wall, and I was watching it. My father threw the spaghetti, and I saw the sauce going down the wall. Same feeling. I was like, stop it, stop. Oh. Were you uncomfortable? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I think I said was something like, what did I say? Holy shit. <laughs> or I just went, oh, fuck, or whatever. Oh, it was like Spinal Tap where, where – uh, it was just uh, the two guys are arguing in the yeah. studio, yeah. and then the bass player and the drummer are in the behind the glass booth, and they just go, uh, "This is all we fucking need." <laughs> like they have no input on it and no. can't stop it. No, that was me. It was just like two brothers fighting though, because everyone's like. Then there was uh, all sorts of discussions like, "That's the end of the show. This is yeah. it. This is gonna yeah. break them all up." And me and Jim talked, and it was like. It took 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Even though we fought for over, almost an hour, mm -hmm. it was 10 seconds. Well, you got it out. I'm sorry, too. And that you was it. It, out. it. It's so fucked up because it started during a break. And then we go back live. And to just do the show, 
you can do it, but at that point, it was impossible for these two. Wow. But it's also, it's, it, it would have been so phony and forced. Yeah. It's like, we, I mean, look, we're not the most perfectly honest people. We're fairly honest we about what's going on. We try to be on. as honest. We're, we try to be more honest than anyone else doing this dumb and sh- it, job. It, it would have been yeah. a lie to have not just ign- It just bled into the thing well, there's that happened. There's a degree of what's going on during breaks or before the show mm-hmm. that you can then be a professional yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know mm-hmm. technically a professional and get in and do your job then if it passes that point mm-hmm. you are incapable of sitting <laughs> and looking at that person <laughs> right. and fucking so let's do the story on the fucking chick that uh, went to the strip club and it, you know you just look and go hey motherfucker <laughs> you know you want to fucking punch you but there, mm-hmm. there are guys that can do that though there are yeah, guys that can fight like it. that and go right back into it yeah. so uh, it's like yeah hey how you doing that's uh, why those shows are awful well yeah, yeah. those are one market <laughs> sensations the the best yep. part of the fight, in the middle of it, all of a sudden, Ant just went, holy shit. Yeah, I just went, <laughs> holy shit. The, oh, or, oh, holy shit. Oh, oh well, you were alone shit. in here. You're yeah, alone I, here. it was oh. done. It was pretty yeah. much just, uh, like, I was, at the beginning, I tried mediating something a little like, guys, not during the show, let's, you know. Right. It's like, no, you know, this fucking guy, this shit. And it's like, all right, I'll I've, step back. I've been doing I'm the show out. with Anthony for 12 years. I think that was the first and only time I didn't even notice he was in the room. I had no wow. clue. Yeah. No clue oh, he was these here. These two were. No, I, I, at one point, not even, no clue that we were even broadcasting the thing. And the way the fight went, it was you, your two tactics. It was what, like watching Ultimate Fighting, where mm-hmm. one's a grappler <laughs> yeah. and one's just a fighter because Opie was the in your face go fuck your mother Mm -hmm. fuck you guy Mm -hmm. and Jimmy is the oh yeah, really, really, oh, really. Well, well, why don't you tell me, like the, like I'm gonna get him with intellect and yeah. sarcasm yeah, right. and passive aggressive, and, and to watch the two styles was really cool. Wow. wow. I yeah, know, because the bull, bull, bulldog, which would have been open. Yep. I don't know. Jimmy rushes was the tough, dude, man. You know, and then Jimmy would be the guy that steps Jimmy, aside, right? And steps him to the side, hit, hit lets the pass the... So, what, what were you working on there? Which works uh, for a while, but eventually the guy's gonna. Oh yeah. He's gonna yeah. catch you, and he's the gonna bull. Oh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy worked me so bad. I've never wanted to strangle someone so bad. <laughs> oh, life. no, I know. You want to kill like, him. I want to strangle this Oh, really? Oh, it's just, oh, really? Oh, why don't you tell me about it? Why don't you? Like the, turning everything around. The worst, on, oh, the worst thing you can do is use somebody's words against them. Right. Oh, yeah. Nobody yeah. likes that. No, no one no. likes that, you tool. Awful. <laughs> I love it. Awful. And then Stupid XM decided not to rerun the thing. That wasn't our decision. No, it was not our decision. Did we ever talk about what happened after the fight? I don't even remember. See, Jimmy Elo I, was freaking out. Oh, no, no, not that. I mean, during the show. Like, after that fight went on, then we went on with the show and making believe. Not making believe, but then we. I think I just talked to you, and then Jimmy just talked to you. And Jimmy and I always leak together. Like, we have to leak every break. Yeah. Every break. And we usually are side by side, right? So, you know, I got to leak. Aww. He's got to leak. And, you know, I'm not. I, I have to leak no matter what. So we walk into the bathroom. Slam. The door slams. And then I go in. Slam. And then he goes into a stall. Slam. And then I go into a stall. <laughs> slam. We're just like talking by not talking. Like, Jesus you motherfucker. Christ. And, and we you're... usually like just piss next to each other and have just a little, 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 little chit chat at the show, urinal. A little show chat. Right. And then he's done with the stall. Slam. I'm done. Slam. Out the door. Slam. Slam. Oh, it was hilarious. Wow. We had to do that for the rest of the show. It was. Oof. I remember Brandon Iron came in with a chick, and we were watching porn. And that kind of helped us because we had something to focus on that wasn't <laughs> all right. So we were watching porn on the TV and kind of describing the porn we were watching, which which helped a little bit because it, like, it was something outside. Yeah, of what great we were radio. <laughs> what we were talking, we actually, we, you know, we were talking, but doing what we could after that. I mean, it was we, at that point, it was yeah, it was sacrifice whatever's going out over the radio yeah. to just try to make peace in here. <laughs> yeah. Put on porno and let's describe and it. Describe that it. was a few days before my HBO special. Because remember, I was off. I took two days off before I shot the special because I knew I was going to need just – I didn't want to wake up early. I wanted to just relax and yep. do that set. And beforehand, we had announced that this is – and Obi even said at the end of that show, Jim won't be here Monday and Tuesday. There's nothing going on that's uncomfortable. Oh, that's right. planned. He's not supposed to be here because he's taking off for the HBO. Other shows would play into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right we didn't at all. We all the truthfully, speculation no. that yeah. was going on, though. And these guys still came to the shows and everything. By the time you guys came, we had talked like two days later. Everything was fine. Oh, no. We were fine before yeah. I went to the show. Yeah. Oh, well, you God. get the shit out. God. You yeah. get it out. That yeah. would be a dick move if we didn't talk before you're 18. Oh, yeah, no, we did. One. Holy crap. It's, oh, is that it's a anger one? leaving your body. It gets out. You fucking shit. That was a fun one.
Yeah, you oh, called me a sociopath. Right. The one thing that hurt, Jimmy called me a sociopath, and I just oh. kind of know it's true. <laughs> it really of course he did. Why wouldn't you just use the obvious? <laughs> you know, that wasn't exactly reaching deep. Right. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm man. sure Jim appreciated fuckface. <laughs> that hurt a lot. <laughs> stupid me. I'm like, man, I didn't think you ever noticed that part of me before. <laughs> He really sociopath. does know I'm a sociopath. Yeah, there were some uh, great lines to that one. We got another one, Derek? I think we're playing this one. You guys might be on the same. All right, cool. Here's another one, Louie. We, see, we go back to what we were doing. Uh, now we're back. <laughs> we were off the highway for a while, but mm -hmm. now we're back on. We turn back on. One report from the Interfax News Agency says witnesses saw an explosion just before one of the crashes. Both planes were Tupolev Tu-154 jets. That's a standard airliner on domestic flights in Russia. The first crash happened in Bukhaki, uh, about 110 miles south of Moscow. <laughs> Bukhaki splattered the what faces of people. <laughs> what is it about plane crashes and death that make anchors say cock and cock hunt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Brokaw got away with it for years. Wow. Yeah, he did. He, he couldn't even speak. He couldn't and he talk. He was giving us the news. Yeah, that time. L thing where he couldn't really say his L. Oh, weird. <sighs> got stuck in his throat. Like, I, I can't use betting people. How much do you give me if I say cunt tonight? <laughs> a United Airlines 767 took off from Cockfuck Airport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It was Newark Liberty. Sorry. Right. Well, we'll a break by, uh, this. it all started with this Jane Skinner clip that's on YouTube. Let's play it again as we go to break. Oh, you going? Right. Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going, Where are you going Rich? What's going on? Oh, you little chill. You have more audio to play. You haven't anywhere. talked in 15 minutes. What's the matter with no, you? Is that right? Just, yeah, I'm good. I'm we're all talking. Yeah, yeah, all the guys are talking. Talking, laughing. Well, I, you were telling that story. It's an amazing story. I didn't want to invite in at all. That was a great, you know. Open up your hands. Just Rich once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're just awful. <laughs> they're awful hands. All right, we go to break with this clip again. I evolved here. <laughs> hey, we got some dice uh, audio. Oh, yeah. If there's anyone that wants to tap out, yeah. I understand. Don't want to drag anyone else into our, hey, Jake our, our, our bullshit, but uh, some interesting audio. Yeah. And we'll play that next, but first, uh, this clip. The deputy police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock, top cock after a cop after the vehicle they were riding in was sprayed with bullets. Three other officers were hurt in the attack. And those are your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. Time that to send you back to Shepard, who is live where... Just outside of Memphis. <laughs> South Carolina Gamecocks. She's a big fan. Go South Carolina. Do you know how sorry, hard it is to, to read when everyone else in the studio is shaking with laughter at your misfortune? I know. I've, I've been there, Jane. You it's been worse for me many billions, billions of times. Now. <laughs> wow. It's Friday, Jane. No one's watching. They're out doing things. It's just me, you, and Dorellen down in Destin. That's it. We'll look for you on YouTube there, Jane. <laughs> Thanks so much. There are many ways to get an Opie and Anthony... Yeah. We're back. We're back. Stomach hurts. I hope it's not that powder I'm taking. It. We're back. Get in the New York room. Oh, oh, oh. We're back. Back, back in, in the New York, York room. I'm obsessed with Ace Freely. I have to beat him. No, Why? I'm obsessed. You have Why? to beat him? What do you mean? No, meet him. I don't remember a kiss I haven't met. I'm obsessed yeah. with him. Uh, we met him. No. Mm -hmm. That powder that makes your, sh your shit. What, cocaine? You know that you're about 5,000 <laughs> times more important than him now. It does. No, I want to meet Ace. <laughs> I'm he should, yeah. should want to meet I'm you. Like, exactly. Yeah, people awesome. actually come to see you now. Celebrities never want to meet me. They don't care about me. Uh, I'm Edward the Norton. The donut. Edward Norton. Erin Moran. You're, oh, yeah. She was a big Lucky Louie fan. Uh, was Joni that? from I Love from Happy Days. Oh, really? Her and her husband, I went to a signing, and they're like, we th you're that guy from Lucky Louie? And I got a picture with him, and they wanted a picture with me. Wow. They were big fans of Lucky Her husband, Louie. Chachi? No, no, no. Charles Arcola wasn't there. Oh, I they thought... were divorced. Remember, he was molesting children. <laughs> I forgot about that episode. Very special, happy days. That's Wait, right. what? That was the happiest of all days. Yes, we're Chachi. We're, we're Donnie Most had a nephew, and Chachi fingered its ass in the booth at Owls. <laughs> <laughs> and then Arnold went quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I forgot that one. Yeah. Mm. Joey. Yogurt. Don't I am me, people. Don't I am. Here's what I get. Oh. Hi. Because then my screen fill, fills up with I am's. That's, that's it. So I've warned people. Now I have to bounce you. Oh, my stomach hurts. Wait, so you're taking that powder? 
Aloe cleanse? Yeah, I don't know if that's it, though. That might not be making my stomach hurt. It could just be... I uh, hear the powder is awful. It tastes terrible. I made an ass of myself with uh, Ed Norton once. What did you do? Dad, yes. Yeah. He came into the cellar to see Jeff Ross. Cause oh, putting okay. Him in a, he's putting him in a movie or something? This ah, so Jimmy, what happened? So I was busy. <laughs> you, yeah, I, oh, because he thought, didn't get the he didn't Well, get a his part? big thing is Edward Norton, his good friend, right, comes right. down to see him. Yes. At the cellar. He's there recently, too. Apparently, he goes down and sees a lot of comics and puts some of them in movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who knows but, what the movie's about? He could need an old Walter Matthau looking man. <laughs> and that's why well, Jeff was hired. Perfect for the part. But so Jeff went on and he did, you know, he did his set, and then I went on after him and Norton. Norton stayed in the room, and I just killed. I had a great set, and so the, him and Jeff were hanging out in a booth upstairs afterwards. And I just—I don't even care who Ed Norton is, but he's a celebrity, and I just part of yeah. me just wants him to say something nice. Yeah. So I kind of started standing around their booth, looking like I'm doing things I'm not doing, <laughs> hoping that he's going to yeah. go, hey, 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 you were awesome. And I just didn't get any play. I kept trying to get in his line of sight. Oh, it's fucking, no. fucking pathetic. Oh. It's fucking oh, pathetic. Oh, you poor <laughs> bastard. It's totally yeah. helpless to those feelings. I don't know what made me do it. And then finally, I just fucking walked past their booth, which wasn't like the comics booth. It was very out of my way, looking like, oh, I'm leaving out this way anyway. And said uh, goodbye to Jeff. Hey, Jeff, see you later. I never, uh, I never would uh, say goodbye to Jeff Ross on the way out of a car. Oh, i got to say goodbye to Jeff Ross. I can't let him. In a million years, I wouldn't say goodbye to him. I fucking uh, almost don't like him. And then, uh, and then uh, Norton, so I say goodbye to Jeff, and then I finally just look him right in the fucking face and force him. to. He goes, hey, it was good. It was good. And then continues talking to him. <laughs> like, oh, wow. He you just, made him give you a compliment? I made him. Oh, my God. I right. made him either tell me to fuck off. I gave him a choice between tell me to fuck <laughs> off or tell me I did a good job. <laughs> Barely. It sounds like he gave you a little of both. A little of both. Yeah, yeah. He did. Good, good, good. Get the fuck out of here. fucking useless. He wants so much validation. The other night, we're doing a benefit. And Robert Klein was headlining, but he's in the audience. I'm going, oh, great, man. I'm going on right before him. He'll oh, watch Jesus, me. Jimmy. You know, and he'll, I'll go, he'll watch me. I'll go, it'll be great. I'll try to kill. And Robert Klein, who's a legend, will come up. Yeah. And I saw him on stage. And right, as, right before I go up, the owner drags Robert Klein out of the room to talk to him about something. Mm. And I just wanted to kill him. Yeah. But Robert Klein's wife is sitting there, however. And I'm, oh. and I'm looking to see if she's so laughing and mm -hmm. maybe try to get a compliment through her. Yeah. <laughs> My wife is even dripping. My wife. I know. You are trying to get compliments from his that's wife. That's being anointed, I... Robert Klein's wife. Yeah, that's, oh, big, yeah, that's yeah. a big yeah. moment. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than that. That's like Johnny Carson's three ring sign, heaven no. <laughs> Robert Klein's wife. Notice that you're on stage. It's good. Wow. All right, why don't we get uh, this dice audio on? What is this exactly? Is this a problem with one of our fans? Yeah, we had the pass. A bunch of pass uh, just giving them shit. A few pass went to uh, one of his gigs. Yeah. Yeah, it'll happen. For Louis C.K. Dice was a really good friend of the show, and mm. for whatever reason, we still don't Quite know. a while. He decided to turn on us bad. We, uh, we got uh, fired. We were off for a couple of years. Um, during that couple of years, I do believe Opie actually um, went out to L.A., hung, hung out, out with him. Went to, went to no the bad gym. blood. Went to the gym with him and did 10-pound uh, curls with him because that's how hey. he works out. Mm -hmm. so what you do now? The most bizarre thing ever. And then, I'm like, uh, Dice, it's too light. He goes, no, 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 just do it 100 times. Why? <laughs> it was 10-pound Gives curl. you definition. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, but then and, and that, yeah, so there was uh, no bad blood or anything, and then we get back on the air. Hung out uh, in his apartment after he got kicked out of his house. Went shopping with him. Went him and him in a shopping cart. Gave Getting, you uh, gave you tips on decorating your. Uh, you mean you put him in the cart like you put a kid in there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> might as well have. But he's, mommy, I want the sweet cereal. <laughs> he's dressed as Dice with a shopping cart in a super uh, supermarket. It was pretty mm -hmm. hilarious. Did he actually. have to be dad? I hung out with Dice. him a few nights ago. I never met him. Yeah. And at the comedy store, I saw him. He went on after me at the comedy store. He's I, he's a million times funnier as a stand up than he was when he was big. I never got him. I never thought that was funny. Yeah. The Dice thing. But now he's just a guy talking. And it's fucking funny. Yeah, but anyway, I hung out after him. Was I talked to him? He's a nice guy. I, I liked him. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what's going yeah, on. Yeah, no, guys, it's but fine. He was very, uh, we thought he was a nice guy. That's too. how he was. That's how he'd yeah. been. I mean, for years, that's how he'd been. We had great <laughs> time. Did some great shows. Some of the best shows ever. Mm -hmm. And then uh, something happened. Yeah. Which we still don't know. No. I uh, turned around, started bad mouthing us. Mm -hmm. For no re no fucking reason. No real no, reason. That's weird. Like, he, w he won't talk to you and, and say... No, that's no, fine. Whatever. I, he, he could call the show anytime. 
He knows the yeah. numbers. Go ahead. If he had a problem, he could have called. Cash it out on the air. How it should be done. So he was doing a show, and you know our past did. They're just terrific. Ruthless. So I guess in the middle of Dice's set, the past were giving it to him pretty pretty good, where Dice just, like, exploded on stage. Oh, no. Oh. Growing up on your own feet, another fucking zero. I don't give a fuck. See, he says another fucking zero because uh, I heard, and you know we're pretty honest here, uh, I heard at this particular show he ate his balls. He ate his balls. He was not having a good time up there and not a good set. Where was this? And so I guess the pests were jumping up one after another, and that's where this tape begins with another whatever. Yeah. Where, where, where was this? I don't know where this one was. Connecticut. It Connecticut, was it Connecticut or The audio is from Saturday night. Oh, okay. This is this past Saturday night? Yeah. And I guess this was broadcast on uh, the other... Uh, oh, it was? I over, think over. so, yeah. Doggy Channel. Was Doggy this, channel. Is this a show he did with Artie? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he told me about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he? What did he say? He told me that there were six fist fights during this show. <laughs> <laughs> there were literally six fist fights during this show. Yeah. Uh, just, just for full disclosure, I'm working with Dice in Albany on uh, uh, December. We're doing a gig That's together. all right. We'll make it perfectly I mean, clear that Louis yeah. C.K. This isn't Louis C.K.'s battle. Don't worry. No, no, no. He's a guy I just met and like. And um, and you'll be doing whatever. a show with him soon. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. No, See, I'll probably we, get heckled there and There were six whatever. fist fights? That's what he wow. said. Wow. Yeah. And this particular guy was getting dragged out as uh, Dice was giving him the business. Mm -hmm. And they were just popping up one after another. Oh, and they passed boink, 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 boink. Like at the just Republican giving convention. <laughs> giving, yeah. <laughs> giving Dice shit. Four more years. Which he pretty much deserved, so. And Dice couldn't take it, finally. It's throwing up on your own feet, but not a fucking zero. I don't give a fuck. This is serious radio. We do what the fuck we want when we want to fucking do it. Howard Stern's at home fucking listening. Because we got a couple fucking lambs in the crowd maybe listening in. Oh, I'm a pest from the ONHO. Now you're a pest outside in your own fucking vomit. Choke on it, you prick. <laughs> Whoa. But they're not with him on it, the crowd. Whoa. Huh? The crowd's not with him. No, I don't think so at all. I, uh... There's some cheers in there, absolutely. I don't know what was going on there. Wow. Mm. I guess a couple of pests got a little rambunctious. Mm. <laughs> and we love it. Absolutely love it. They have this is a weird ha half side of comedy that I, the, 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 of stand-up, this whole world. Yeah. I mean, you guys and them and everybody, like, how you pack theaters. Like, Jim's shows, you know, it's just these people are fucking nuts. I yeah. mean, your fans are oh, I know. Crazy. Fucking psychopaths. <laughs> they show appreciation in weird ways. Lunatics. Yeah, they'll You're kill funny, them. you yeah. fucking asshole! Just yeah. screaming. And, <laughs> oh, that was Hampton <laughs> Beach Casino. Like, okay. uh, controlling a mob. Such a weird way to do stand-up. Uh, let's see. Okay, this guy was at the show. Mike, New Hampshire, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey. I, I was at the show on Saturday night. I uh, went up there to see Artie. I know, I know. I'm a big fan of you guys, but I had to see Artie. I like that dirty work and whatnot. And uh, Dice got up there and got fucking torn apart. It was unbelievable. How was... Uh, unbelievable. So how long into the show did all this stuff happen? This happened, well, Artie was supposed to be the, the headliner. He got up there for 25 minutes. Uh, 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 call back, dude. Your phone crapped out. Your phone. We're losing you. Let's say hi to Diana. Deanna. California, what's yes. up? Hey. Um, remember, Louie, when you did the special um, for XM, like, I don't know, a couple months ago? Oh, the and one I did in D.C.? Yeah, and the stupid drunk guy was heckling you? Yeah, yeah. And, well, I'm from that town. I'm from Hagerstown. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to tell you that we're not all like that and that I love you. And thank you, though, for playing, for wanting to play that one. Oh, thank and, you. Oh, and I saw Dice the other night on VH1. On he was, I guess, uh, plugging his bit on this. Uh, there's a black girl that has a show. Wendy Williams. Now, it's, yeah, he, he was on there, and he was like arguing with his, with his little fag or her little fag assistant. It, it was just funny. I think it was he was doing a show on VH1, and then he went on VH1 to plug the show. So it it was just funny. See, now he doesn't have you guys. So he, <laughs> Boy, she, she sounds a lot different when she's being taped. Yeah. yeah she well, sounds more interesting. She's boring people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Your voice changes when you get taped. Yeah. Uh, Way to spin that. a yarn. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> Way to rivet a nation. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they stick it for their town. We're not all we're not all drunk yeah. losers. Yeah, no, that guy we're was a boring. fucking drip. All right, we got a, <laughs> a contest <drip>. announcement. <laughs> A drip. What? A contest announcement. Ooh. Oh, boy. It's the ONA video contest sponsored by HotMovies.com. Let's see how this works. It starts uh, today. It today. Starts today. starts today officially. It will end on December 15th. Grand prize, $1,000, courtesy of HotMovies.com. It's an ONA-themed video contest. All right. Original videos or animation, no more than three minutes each, submitted via email, VHS, DVD. Wait, wait. If somebody comes and submits a VHS tape, <laughs> I am going to go to their house <laughs> and shove it up their ass. Ooh. There is no way VHS should be no. in our vocabulary anymore. It's the dumbest. Boss, you have a VHS, right? Beta. You, you, beta Max? <laughs> yeah. All right. You know what? i got to go back to the dice thing because people are just dumb. TJ from Jersey. Ope, maybe Dice hates you because you never called him back after he tried to call you after your father died. Oh, really? Well, he had fun talking about my father and, and my uh, dead dad's skull on Howard's show, so go fuck yourself, first of all, TJ. Second of all, I wasn't talking to many people after my dad died. Sorry. Yeah, maybe you I, need a little time to That's a weird reason to get mad over. at somebody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry that His I, father dies and he gets all fucking snotty. Yeah, well, what happened? <laughs> Sorry that I kept to myself and actually had no desire to even do radio for the first six months when we got on XM. So he takes that that I didn't call him uh, after my father died. Got, he didn't want to go to Pips. Got so pissed off that he still didn't call our show, then starts bad-mouthing us, and then goes on Howard, even though he's going to call me about my father because he, he knew that crushed me, and then uh, starts discussing how he's going to fuck my dead dad's uh, skull, right? Fuck you, TJ. Fuck you. Also, Jimmy, no comment about Dice, still friends with him, or figuring you could hop on his coattails. Well, that's true. Um, <laughs> no, to be honest with you, I haven't talked, I've talked to Andrew once in the last two years. I never lie about what, what happened with me and him. He just booted me off the tour, me, him, and Florentine while we were off the air. And, um, I hated that it happened like that. And then he didn't come on the show, and I saw him once when I was out in L.A., and we talked for like an hour, and that's when I was out there shooting Lucky Louie, and we hadn't talked since. Yeah, Dice does stupid things, and and there's no real explanation for it. Mm, okay. I have no personal uh, issue with Dice. I just mm. I just don't like him anymore because no one else does. No, I'm he, a bandwagon he, jumper. He actually, <laughs> he actually says something. <laughs> there's no reason to be ashamed of that. As, uh, he actually just said say, something. well, other folks were going that way, so I figured that sounds so good to I me. I said I'm going to be with all them because yeah. I want to be like everybody else. Well, I admire those people, and they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to so. do what they do. I'm getting on the bandwagon. Why? He actually had some, wrong with some dumb stuff to say about you, Of course he does. He's a douchebag. Uh, ONA theme video contest. Original videos or animation, no more than three minutes each. Uh -oh. Submitted via, via email, VHS tape, DVD, okay. that are centered around the cast and crew of the ONA show. And details are on opianthony.com. Uh, we're going to host the videos on opianthony.com and foundrymusic.com. Can they use clips yeah. from the show? Yeah. Can they use video from the show that has found its way to various locations online? Huh? You mean can they edit it? <laughs> uh, well, no. Ha Let's say they go to some of these, um, a lot of these video sites yeah. and, and pick and choose certain clips and then edit them together in a humorous fashion. With some commentary voice right, over. Right, voice over music, or, things know, like that. Super, what if they superimposed penises going in your mouths? Right. That kind of thing. Here's here's the winning th submission right now. Yeah. I'm just going to give it out. What if they take us, uh, video, put it in fast motion, and put the Benny Hill music behind oh, it? Oh, fucking now, I, now I just gave out Jeez. the winning one. I just fucked no. the whole contest. There you go. Well, videos will be judged on originality, humor, relevance to the ONA show. So get it where you can. <sighs> Sponsored by HotMovies.com. Mm -hmm. Well, like the Dragon Wagon clip's perfect example. When Jimmy went after that Dragon Wagon guy and they yeah. and the kid animated it, it's getting massive uh, views on all the all the websites. Yeah, if you know Flash Animation, you're autistic. Ground, whatever. <laughs> Got to be 18 and older. It's sponsored by uh, HotMovies.com. All right. Really fast, uh, TJ's uh, writing back. Oh, I wasn't calling you out, just stating a point that you guys talked about earlier, previously when you talked about Dice and him hating you. Okay. And then we got David uh, Jones from MS. Where's that? MS is uh, uh, Mississippi multiple or Mississippi. sclerosis. Mississippi. Wow, Opie's touchy when someone in his family dies. It's fucking comedy gold when it happens to someone else. No laugh track, Ope? Uh 
Hey, guys, my dad died in a fiery car accident. <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. There you go. There. Yeah. Now what? Now what? Ass. I feel queasy. You all right? I like how the guy backed off. People always... I get emails sometimes from people... Like on MySpace, people write me messages, yep. and I read all of them, but I answer close to zero <laughs> because I, I do. I'm, I have kids, and I work. You're a busy guy. And also, that's not interesting to do. <laughs> so I don't do it. Answering all of them. So sometimes the only ones I answer are people that say, hey, asshole, I've written you three yeah. times. You won't answer. You don't care about your fans. I'm no longer your fan. I hate you, you piece of shit. So I write back, and I say, well, I'm busy, I don't, and if you don't like me because of that, fuck you. And then they always write back and go, I totally wasn't trying to, yeah. <laughs> man, you know, I just totally, no. no. I, uh, you know, you know, I, ma I made up this one thing that I keep uh, on my clipboard, thing, uh, on my notepad, that I can just take off, copy, and paste <laughs> when people really bash me. Mm -hmm. And it's a real, like, I got to pull it up. It's a, a real kind of... Um, generic stamped response <laughs> like that's all i give it's like uh -huh. thank you so much for supporting the thank program you for your interest to the in show. Anthony, yeah. we really appreciate it <laughs> yeah. here at the opie and anthony yeah. show like i just slam him with that <laughs> he took all this time to write what a dickhead i am <laughs> yeah. and how unfunny the show is and fuck and i just send him this generic thing you just let him know that they're going on a pile like they're they're yeah, adding to a yeah. number thank that's you it. we are happy to I get emails didn't read your fucking letter i just sent this off fuck you you know what you said you told us and i tried that one time, and then the, it, I didn't get enough satisfaction. I have to fight with them. Yeah, but you're you're stuff. crazy. Never, never. you fight. You never do that. You get into message board wars. <laughs> That's crazy. That's just I just write. I hit the message board, but usually it's one post where it's just like, go oh, fuck all he is. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I, I like I like the message boards for the most part, but there are bits we do that are so obviously just great. We know. Greatness. No, I'm serious. And then you go on the message board, and 90, 95% of the people, they're with you. Yeah, that was obviously those guys doing comedy gold, what mm -hmm. what have you. Then you get these asses. Ah, yeah. ah, ah, it was, ah, eh. That's what you get. The, the, it's either... Because they want to be... It's either well, you got to take comedy's either very subjective. Some people aren't going to like the funniest thing in the world. Some people just aren't going to like. And the other thing is, some people just want to be too cool for the room, like you know. Well, also Americans yeah. aren't they're consumers when it comes to like movies or anything. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not like there's art that they're appreciating and then thinking of or absorbing. They think that yeah. they're con cons they think they're their customer. Like I didn't get my thing I like. Yeah. Well then, fuck What's you. Uh, I'm not satisfied. Yeah. This isn't the best breakfast I ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Could you bring oh, your manager, God. Brad? Yeah, but they're, so, they're so arrogant when they tell you how to do your job that you've yeah. been doing forever. Mm -hmm. You know what? Well, yeah, you know what? Go up during the check spot in front yeah. of 300 drunks. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Th You're dirty. Go fuck yourself. That's man. why on the show we beg the message boards to eat their own. Just well, eat your own. You know who the problems are. You know they have nothing contribute. That they're not official fans of the show. Just eat your own. Uh, the other thing is the survival in this shit is just cut and dry. If you're not yeah. good, nobody will listen and yeah, you'll stop right. being on the air. It'll it's take care there of won't itself. be message boards yeah. uh, about like, you or your shows no. or anything like that. But there's bits we do, we know, some will like and some whatever. Mm -hmm. But then there are those bits. It's like if you're a fan, you call yourself a fan of the show, you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. But And th then that, you get these idiots like, I don't, eh, yeah. You're never going to make everyone happy. It's just the way it is. Ron and Fez do this thing, um, uh, message board gossip. I was listening to it uh, yesterday. And I guess Steve put together the um, the intro to it. Yeah. If if that's on the fucking delet, you got to hear it. This is some more Steve awfulness. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. It's hard. Really fast, I said I didn't uh, feel like talking when my dad died. Yeah. You know, first six months of XM was a little rough for me. We yeah. discussed that in the past. Well, this guy from his cell phone. Hey, Hope, you didn't feel like talking when your dad died? I didn't know your dad uh, Your dad died the day before you were on Letterman. Sorry. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, man, that's funny. <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> Let's uh, go to Andrew in Brooklyn. Andrew. Hey, how's it going? I just want to defend you, Opie. Yeah. When uh, the guy from Don and Mike's, while his wife died, you know, you guys didn't trash him. Ah, we didn't even touch that. Of course not. Yeah, I know. There are things you just don't fuck with. There are things that are serious and, you know, uh, and then the things you, you just don't fuck with that. It's too real. It's too close to home. It's too... It, it definitely surpasses any radio war bullshit. Mm -hmm. Radio wars yeah. 
pretty low on the fucking yeah. ladder of importance yeah. in life when you know you're 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 stricken with something. Are you right, Jimmy? Is Jimmy throwing up? He said his he is throwing up. He said his stomach hurt because of some powder he was taking to make him shit. Oh my god, that is authentic. Oh no, you've got you've got a real problem. Jimmy is vomiting into the. Uh, ash what happened, can. Jimmy? You I just made myself puke. I feel queasy. You just made yourself puke? Yeah. You stuck your fingers just right over there throat. by yes, all the people. You couldn't go, like you couldn't go to the fucking toilet. <laughs> I thought that was like emergency. Yes, so did I. No. That was like, hey, I let me do this for a second. Did stuff Jesus. come up? A little bit, but not that much. It might, I don't know if it's a powder or not. It might have a stomach bug. Yeah. Oh, well, like at least sound. we all got to watch fucking brown come out of your mouth. Oh, yeah. bile. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. They don't do this on Sean Hannity's uh, talk show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless, unless they're liberals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably good. doing it today. Yeah. 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 Who won? Yeah. Who won? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what are we doing? They have the Ron and Fez thing, and I, I got to leave right at 11 today. Oh, it, no, it's a quick jingle. All right. It's just a jingle-type uh, intro to the segment. I'm looking at houses again. And it's so. Steve. I got I to gotta take a look. He goes, razzle-dazzle. Uh, Listen to the way he says razzle-dazzle. Ew. Razzle-dazzle. It's bored gossip with Eastside Dave. A little gossip, a little That's it. Razzle-dazzle. <laughs> I heard that yesterday. I couldn't get it out of my fucking head. I wanted to punch Steve in the face with that razzle jazzle. There he is. Steve. (laughs) That is so bad. What's wrong? Razzle jazzle. I think I must have. Is this this working? Yeah. Um, I think I must have cut that. Three months ago, I have no idea what happens to these lines after Dave <laughs> asks for them. He just says how he wants it said. Yeah. He says, "All right, I just need a real happy razzle dazzle," and I have no idea where it's going after that. <laughs> well, it stunk. <laughs> could, could, could you say razzle dazzle like there's a cock right by your chin? <laughs> exactly. That's, that was really the motivation. Thanks, Jim. Razzle dazzle. Just try to imagine male genitalia hanging somewhere near my face, and it comes out like that. All right. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Did I really say this once? What did you say? Gordy from Connecticut. Opie had the best line of all time. Opie once stated that uh, Dana Reeves died because an angel was tired of wiping Christopher Reeves' ass. <laughs> I don't remember being What? That. I don't remember saying that. Wow. <laughs> like the angel said, look, get her up here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick tired of this. Of this shit. <laughs> fucking dude. Wow. He's an adult. I shouldn't be doing this. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, if Christopher Reeves in heaven, wouldn't he have legs that worked? Well, I also like you still so. shit in heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so much stuff just doesn't make sense. <laughs> no. Let's go to Ken in Florida. Ken. Hey, oh, hey, boys, love you. Hey, I want your side open. Believe me, I love you guys. But now I heard Dice through audio on the internet that he says you screamed at his kid and that's why he's pissed off. That's I, I want to get your side, man. I love you guys. I'm out. Scream at his kid? Uh, no. What he's referring to is when he was uh, playing Madison Square Garden, which we pretty much uh, promoted to the point where we got people in the seats, even though the Yankees and, Met- and Mets were in the World Series. Game five. Game yeah, that was five. a great time to do a fucking nice show. Yeah. <laughs> but we still got people in Madison Square Garden for Dice. Yeah. Dice, I, I'm sure we can find the audio. He, he thanks us and says, if it wasn't for you guys, you know, this wouldn't happen. It was a dream come true that I could do this in front of my kids again, blah, blah, blah. He came down, and there were a lot. There was an entourage, and Dice uh, was basically telling us that he invited Man Cow to the, uh, to the show. And Man Cow was on uh, TV pretty much promoting that he was the one bringing Dice to New York City to the Garden. Yeah, it was o- so, ONA Presents. Right. But but Man Cow was trying to like take credit for this whole Dice at the Garden because yeah. uh, Dice used to do his show as well. So we had, we lost it with Dice. And now Dice is trying to claim, even though we uh, did the show after that and we we continued to be friends, he continued doing the radio show. Yeah, nothing uh, happened then. When, when we got fired, I was out in L.A. a bunch of times hanging out with him. That is uh, what he's claiming is the reason that's what he why picked he hates, up on. He hates yeah. me because I yelled at his kids. It just didn't happen. Well, that's bullshit because after kids. the garden, he did a beacon and he was still Absolutely. in Absolutely. It here just didn't happen. Everything was still fine and dandy. He would bring his kid in a lot. So the only thing I can tell you is maybe when Aunt and I, because Aunt was part of this too because we were out of our minds that all of a sudden Man Cow A was going to show up at the garden show. We hated him for the shit he was saying about us. You know, we were going at it with Dice on the show live and if his kid was in the area, that's, that's the only thing I could think of. Imagine if every relationship you had in your life was 
the other people person was on the radio. <laughs> like a radio, radio war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just I mean, any relationship would turn into that. Everyone. Because right. <laughs> everybody on the planet Earth that has any relationship with anybody says I, you know, when they walk away from me, oh, you fucking cunt, I hate yeah, him. Dear, I mean, everybody. Right. Yeah. You know, your wife, your kid, everybody goes like, yeah, okay, great, see you later, you fucking cunt. <laughs> so <laughs> if everybody in the world went on to their own separate radio shows after yeah, talking and, to each other, this And then just, just started happen. talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's why radio, you get the radio wars. Because That's why. People can't just get on the air and keep their mouths shut. No. Yeah, I met that guy. He said this. What a fucking asshole. Yeah, that, yeah. And then he gets right. on. These yeah. guys are fucking douchebags. No, the default human uh, relationship is animosity. Uh, yeah. Covered by politeness. <laughs> and, right. That's what yeah. The radio yeah. has so much fun. This jackass cop gave me a ticket for no reason the other night. I go, do you listen to ONA? He goes, yeah. I go, well, I'm going to trash you. And he got happy. that I was yeah. <laughs> Really? You going to measure me? Yeah. I no jackass you know he, he like, cops. Didn't he recognize well, well, your name? Yeah, but uh, but our yeah. bullet. Oh. But I just want to make this perfectly clear. Our side of the story. That was the only time we actually had a real fight with Dice because it was like, "What are you doing, man? Mm. You know, we hate Man Cow, and you're gonna, you know, he's gonna come down and be at the Garden Show after we just helped, you know, you promote this." Yeah, if he month? wanted to go to Chicago and sell out a show over there, then let him fucking, you know, hook up <laughs> with Man Cow there. Like we wouldn't give a shit about that. Right. That's one thing. And and this is God's honest. We don't care who goes on what show. Doesn't fucking matter. We know you, especially comics, have to plug their gigs. They want the biggest audience there is. So if if you guys are playing, and especially if it's a market we're not even in, I mean, who gives a shit what shows you go on and plug your gigs? Uh, same thing with the little actors, actresses. Why should we care if they're plugging their movie on another radio show? Some hmm. people. They don't want you fucking going on other shows. We've been no, cock blocked no. a thousand fucking times, and we could give a shit whose show anyone else goes on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What was Howard saying? Something about Otto and George? I don't know. I didn't hear any of the because audio. of the FHM uh, thing. Apparently, because Otto and George is prominently featured in our FHM article this month, and uh, he said something like, "Oh, what? He's over with their camp now? Like it's a camp? Like anyone cares? Do whatever you got to do to promote what the fuck you do in life." It's not going to matter to me. I could give a shit. Right. But just to to end it, so then after that argument we had with Dice, we ended up staying friends for a long time after that with never another altercation, ever. Yeah. Nothing with me yelling at his kids. That's just a flat-out lie. Did not yell at Dice's no, no kids. No, yelled at his kids. Why would you that's yell so at his stupid. kids? Why would you? Like, yeah. what reason could there be to yell right. at his kids? Put a, right. a booger on the couch. Uh, all right. That, <laughs> if that ever happened, I would have to uh, yell and then throw away the couch. I believe he's got mental problems. I, you know, I got to say, he's, he's nuts. Yeah. He's just fucking nuts. I, I don't think you'd be alone thinking that, he's talking to people nuts. that know him. But <laughs> well, That's coming from me. He's nuts. Sponsored by BodogFight.com. We're talking about line of the day, yes. Log on and watch American fighters battle for the right to represent the U.S. in a bout against the Russians. It's all on BodogFight.com. A mixed uh, martial arts tournament and docu-reality unlike any seen before. I must crush you. We got a couple uh, runner-up lines of the day and then the winner, of course. Here's the first runner-up. No, I call, I call my girl mother when I'm having sex with her. Mother? <laughs> mother blood! I actually call her by my mother's maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> I go with Granny myself. Uh, yeah. Gram, grandma. Yeah. Oh, Nana. 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 Oh, God damn. It's even worse though if you if you if you only go from behind and you call her Pop Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pop Pop. Jimmy Very Norton. good, Jimmy. Line of the day. Uh, no, runner, runner, up. runner up. Here's the, the other runner up line. Oh, no, of the day. The, oh, there's another runner up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say hi to Rich. He has an apology for uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Rich Voss. Uh, Rich <laughs> in New Hampshire. apology for everybody. He's an apology for XM uh, yeah. Canada. And, oh, go ahead, Rich. <laughs> Outside a toilet store with a mouthful of polywogs. I <laughs> 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 made runner up. How could that not be line of the day? <laughs> That's pretty that? great. You guys found uh, a better a, one than that today? That's uh, all right. I, I accept well, their judgment. Dan, well, no, voting's anonymous. I'm um, bloop single oh, guy. Dan's not no, happy with the uh, winner. Oh, I, I really? Think it tell. This yeah. should be the winner. Uh-oh. Uh, I thought when Ann said that, there's that's, no way I that's going to be beat. I'll agree with you. Well... We'll see what the winner was. Yeah. Yeah, Louis C.K. in there like, I know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> Here's line of the day. Oh. oh Danny, you suck. Comes. Danny sucks. Light of the day. Light of the day. Light of the day. Razzle dazzle. 
Really? All right, they're making. They're trying to make a funny bit out of it. Wow, the boys um, behind the scenes trying to. Wow, make they're funny trying off. to be fun. Okay, whose idea was that? There was one person. No one. Two people don't automatically go. Let's do this. One person came up with that idea. Who was it? You guys might have just wrecked the line. Who was it? Bit. It Travis. was fucking Travis. Travis, you actually thought that was funny. You thought we were gonna like laugh. Ah, oh, look, <laughs> line of the day is just Steve saying razzle dazzle. You just took a winner from Anthony. What? That's what? It, wh why would you make a bit out of the bit? Oh no, no no no! I said in jest. That should just be line of the day. Yeah. Everyone laughed and said yes, and then we said we'll play that, and wow, then we'll play see, the real he's, one. Now he's smearing it around the responsibility. Oh wait, there's a real one after that. Yeah, yeah. of course. Oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't line of the day? No, no that was just... Oh, uh, we're all no. dicks then. Sorry. Okay. Go back to your, back was, your post. That was a funny one. <laughs> we're all assholes. He Sorry. I still don't know how fucking polywogs didn't win. Wow, we Sorry. still don't get it. It was just an opportunity to make fun of Steve one last time and then do the real line of the day. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that... Yeah, I think that's just, that's just hurtful. Uh, all right. Here's, maybe Steve. it's only funny to girls. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Travis. Even Steve's saying razzle-dazzle is fucking... No wonder I threw up. Here's the official <laughs> yeah. line of the day. I have to literally scrape shit out of my daughter's little red vagina a few times a day. A few oh times a day. Oh, my God. Got to get in there hard. with the wipey, make a corner out of it, and get the shit oh. out of it. Holy Every time she takes fuck. a shit, it goes straight up her gun. <laughs> 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 That's true. That's really that funny. is a good yeah, one. That's hard. You know funny. something? That's you're hard rare, it's something you rarely hear, too. And that was actually on Free <laughs> FM, and it didn't get dumped. <laughs> <laughs> Louie, you killed for us. Sorry it got yeah. a little weird near the end there. No. Show got fun. a little weird at the end, but... Uh, that you know, always fun. does... Stupid show. <laughs> and Louie, uh, what, next weekend uh, we'll be Vegas, in the, the Vegas Comedy the Festival. TheComedyFestival.com or LouisCK.com. I'm at the Vegas. Me and David Tell together with Daniel Tosh also. That's Very a funny show, show, man. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, you got to stay in touch and uh, Definitely. stop by any time, man. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. A lot of fun. Thanks. Absolutely. And, and uh, Jimmy, where are you? Hammerstein Ballroom, Friday night. Hammerstein. <laughs> 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 I feel better since I puke. Do you? Yeah. Hammerstein ball. I only got a little bit out. It wasn't the food. It was I like, like how you were throwing up as Steve was talking. <laughs> yeah, just who, who listens to him? I just went to shut up. <laughs> um, Hammerstein Ballroom Friday night um, and Ticketmaster. <laughs> It'll be a good show. I have a lot of new filth. All right. And uh, the inimitable Rich Voss. Sweetie. Helium Comedy Club, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Philly. Helium Comedy Club. I don't know how you made yourself throw it with just one finger when you're used to I can't believe you do it in the room with people. The I whole know. point of a bathroom oh, is no, that you fucking put your waste products I don't want to in miss another area. Rich, just because yours don't go past your front teeth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's trying to make a cock gagging joke. No, I wasn't. But yes, yes, you, you were. were. You no, were. I was saying how he didn't go into the bathroom. Yes, you were. No, you said because he's used to uh, yeah, take a little more in his mouth. Can you just let it pass? It's the end of the no, day. No. Just never. Let it go. Never. <laughs> you just had a... I gave you a great compliment today. I said that you're great on a stage. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I do my job. Uh, yeah, fuck. He is. He's funny. <laughs> Read some of that fart in. That's a putrid fart I just dropped. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, then I want the fuck out of here. I want to see my girlfriend and give her the old Dutch oven. I am not going to. You got a new girlfriend? I have to clear, clear the path. Like a machete through the fucking car. <laughs> Look at Anthony. Yeah. Hacking with we all have problems on this show. Have you noticed yet, Louis? <laughs> Louis's noticed. That's, that's why he wants to hang out here. Then you need the Purell. Oh, you got to Purell up a little bit. And then you got... And talking about cleaning all the germs in his house, and we're all looking at each other like, yeah, this is fucking normal. <laughs> yeah. One Wait. stupid booger. No, we yeah. could all relate. It was a child booger. I... You obviously never lived in a fraternity yeah. house. Yeah. Sure. yeah, thank God I didn't have to shove marshmallows up my ass and walk. Ten yards. I had a guy that would sleep naked on the couch at my fraternity, and he would be so wasted, oh. and then he would... You could fuck him, and he wouldn't know it. No, he would... No? He would splatter shit on the walls. Jeez. He would have the explosive right. diarrhea while he was passed out in the living room on one of those fucking flea-infested yeah. couches. It's a true story. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's be honest. His name, Greg. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a big fat guy, uh, Jerry. I forgot his last name, but... Uh, true story. <laughs> oh, true story. Yeah, he's Explosive partner. diarrhea all over the walls uh, from this guy, and you know, completely passed out naked, oh, having explosive diarrhea. And you're worried about good. a booger. Was he a uh, member of the fraternity, or he just oh, yeah, hung yeah, out? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 you couldn't throw him out. You guys want to call? You I'm a legacy. <laughs>
Me? I didn't go to college. No, fuck oh, that. No. I didn't Did you really need to say that, Voss? <laughs> Rich. Why don't you just say I can't fly either? <laughs> <laughs> Rich was trying to brag there. Look at all the knowledge I have, and I didn't go to college. I didn't go to college. She's yeah. a hard you, knock. Sometimes you just hard knock. shut up. It wouldn't surprise me if you didn't get out of third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Rich was expecting us, all of us to go, oh, really? What? You didn't go to college? As well-spoken as you are? <laughs> That's impossible. Bye. All right. Bye, listeners. Wow, ah, look, the so mics long. were still on. All right, take it easy. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. See you uh, tomorrow. Uh, have a good one. Fan, it's all yours. Yes, fan. Later. Good line four. Yeah, just sitting there. Last week. No. The opiate.